Hi guys how are you? I hope you are fine. I am back with another video please support me. This is a mega episode. Let enjoy it. At the start of video we can see that there is a boy standing at the tomb of his mother. He is saying, mom I am back. The boy was thinking that several years ago, my father betrayed my mother that ruthless man kicked my mother, my young sister, and me out of family. At that night there was heavy rain. My mother knelt at the gate and begged the man for his mercy. She would go, but she hoped the man could let my sister and me stay. However nobody opened the cold iron. Gape.my mother had no idea about how merciless the man was. I end the heavy rain the boy mother was crying and saying to their father please. They are your children. Please let them in. The boy said the morning came and the iron gate was open. My mother was overjoyed. She thought the man finally changed his mind and would take his children back. But instead of children father, a dog rushed toward them. Their mother run toward the boy and his daughter to save them. The boy mother was hurt by that dog. She said, my children run. Hurry up, run. She said I am to protect you. Your sister is so young. Mother said to his son, you must take care of her. The boy while telling the story said, we thought we could live a peaceful life. But trouble came to us again. Not long after that night, someone set my mother up and forced her to kill herself. Their mother said to them, sorry, my children, I am so reluctant to be parted from you. My son take good care of your sister. You have to leave Ocean East and never come back again. The boy said, that was the last call when I was on the way back from school. When I got home, I saw her dead body and heard my sister hopeless cry. The sister meet to her brother and said, brother I am sacred. I am so sacred I want mom. The boy said, my sister was only 10 years old and I was 14. A young man had to support and protect the family with his weak shoulders I was mocked and suffered a lot, even though those people who set my mother up did not show any mercy to us. The bloody cruel knife wanted to kill my sister and me. Then a mysterious man appeared. He killed those people and took me away. Then time passed fast. Ten years later, Wa Kingdom suffered from the war. Invades attacked the border, they were almost invincible, they broke through so many barriers, defeated and slayed our solitaire, we needed a general to lead the army. The kingdom was going to fall. Just at this time, a man sneaked into the enemy camp and started killing. No enemies could stop him. It was the piece of cake for that man to assassinate the enemy general protected by thousands of solitaire. The enemies lost their commander and were in chaos. That was bang. That man was the invincible general of Wa Kingdom and his name was Lord Zon. He was the savior of the country and was honored as the king of war. He saved the country when the country was falling. His contribution was remembered by all the people and his nickname was spread all over the country. King of war was his nickname. Now the boy comes back with his honor and anger. Can his old enemies bear his anger? Can he take revenge for his mother? Boy said ten years have passed. Ten years ago I was like a dog being. Bullied and humiliated. The boy said, ten years later I come back with honor and power. The whole city has to kneel before me. The boy entered and from the gate there were some other boys who said to the boy, son of bitch who allowed you in. Did not you see the warning at the gate? And further they said, Ms. Shangguan Nalan asked us to open this woman tomb, destroy the gravestone and mark it as bitch tomb. We just finished these. You are so lucky to see the masterpiece, ha. Huh? Ha. Huh? The boy said Shangguan. Nalan. It's her. She was my mother best friend. But their close relationship was broken when a man appeared. That man was the son of noble family in Ocean East, the Chen family. The boy further said, he liked my mother, though my mother had two children. After all my mother was famous for her beautiful face. But her heart had died long ago. So she refused. Unfortunately, her best friend, Shangguan Nalan, was admired of Chen, but she was also refused by Chen. To marry into the noble family, Shangguan Nalan used all kind of means to set my mother up. My mother had an old house in the old town area. The Shangguan family was just doing property business. Nalan faked the property certificate and occupied 
The house. She destroyed the house and forced us to move out. To avoid trouble, Nalan threatened my mother with her children lives. She forced my mother to kill herself. My mother had no choice but to do that to protect us. But Nalan was a vicious devil. She did not to let the children go. Nalan ordered to kill me and my sister to remove the all source of trouble. After my mother died, Nalan still could not let her go. She asked her men to lock the cemetery. She asked the guard to guard the tomb. Nobody was allowed to visit my mom tomb, and there was warning sign at the gate. There was written on gate, dogs. And those who visit the bitch are allowed in. It was 10th anniversary of my mother death, Nalan does. This today on purpose. She opened my mother tomb and exposed the bone ash. What a vicious devil she is. The boy after looking that was in very anger moved then at the same point other boys arrived in. One of them said, I am feeling good today, so I would not beat you up, if you get out of here now, he warned the boy. While smoking one of them further said, it's young master Chen birthday and also engagement day. We should have stayed in the restaurant and enjoyed the gourmet food, but now we are here to do such a bad thing. He threatened and said, you kneel and crawl out and then we will let you go or we will break your legs. Other boys while laughing at him said wow, Zhuang, you aimed it so accurately. Zhuang said, come on boy, crawl out under my crotch. We will spare your life and give you this golden lighters as a souvenir, ha ha. One of them said, how dare you stare at me? I am just spitting. Spitting. Do you know what I mean? Let me do that again. Hi guys how are you? I hope you are. Fine. This is second and third episode of Lord of War. If you want to watch the first episode of Lord of War. The link of that episode given in description. We can see that the boy one of them moved forward and started fighting with the boy and he said what? There was bang. One of them pointing toward Zhuang. Said. Lick it clean. Zhuang weighs about 180 pounds but he lifted him so easily. One of them said. What? A beast he is, the falling boy stood up but Zhuang slapped him and the boy fell down. The boy was in pain he said, help me, one of them beat him at his leg. The boy said, ah, oh, my leg, the other boy said, again, lick it clean, he said, I don't want to say it again, the boy said, oh, it hurts me, the boy trembling, said, yes I will lick, I will, suddenly there was a rival of helicopter. There was blow of wind other boys. Said that's a helicopter. The boy said, here we a go. Then army pop up from helicopter and bowed in the front of the boy. Zhuang in frightening mood said, what is going on? The army while bowing in the front of the boy said, honor to see you my king. The boy said do what? The army said, yes my king. The army opened the doors and there was gold inside. Them and there was order from one man of the army to rebuild the tomb with gold. Zhuang while seeing all of these things said, Oh, my God, that's gold. Twenty years of gold. I have never seen anybody visit the tomb with so many gold. The other boy along with Zhuang said, It may cost billion of coins. The boy said, Mom, you joked that I should use gold to build a tomb for you after you died, so that you would have money to burn in heaven, Mom. Now I made it. The boy in angry mood said, I will bring Shangguan Nalan here and left her kneel before your tomb. She must atone for her sin with her life. The opponents of the boy said who is this man? He is so rich. He builds the tomb with gold. The boy inquired to him, what did you say? Zhuang said I forget it. The army said to the mother boy, we, we are ordered by Elder Mogan in the Chen family to guard the cemetery. The boy said, after she hurt my mother Shangguan Nalan finally married into the Chen family. That woman is scheming and vicious. Zhuang replied to the boy she has spent 10 years managing the family. Definitely dot she can control it. Mogan should be her lackey, he is sacred. The Chen family is well known in this city for its great power. The elder Mogan is also a famous fighter. He looks powerful and I do not know who he is but he may not dare to hurt me because I am ordered by Mogan. The boy in anger mood said oh, elder Mogan, so what? There was bang. There was huge fight and sound of whir. Zhuang said, that is misunderstanding. 
Please do not kill me. Let me explain it. The boy said, explain it. Question mark. The king of war never listens to anyone explanation. Zhuang said, king of war, are you Lord Zong? The king of war who saved the country. There was bang and the took the cover on it. Let go it is the birthday of Shang Wan Nalan's son today. Let go there to have some fun and return the gravestone to that bitch. There was Tito restaurant one of the landmark building in Ocean East. The servant opened the door and the boy said there was the old town area years ago. My mother old house was just here but now the house was rebuilt to be Tito restaurant. There was another person who said to the boy my king I will deal with them. You do not even have to do it in person. The boy said to the tank you should go back to guard the tomb. I will face my old enemies myself. There were princes there who started talking to each other while looking at the boy who is that man. He looks so cool. What a charming man. I will get excited if I could have a date with him. The sat at the chair with glass of juice in his hand. The princess said. While further talking to each other I have never seen such a handsome man in the in the ocean east. He is so outstanding. Then there was a rival of leader of security team Wang Shanyao he started staring at. The boy and said to the boy, Sir, according to the rules you to check in before you enter. It is engagement. Banquet of young master Chen. Everyone has to check in and let Chen check the list. Those who do not come with lavish gifts will be kicked out. That is the rule. That is the rule made by Madame Shangguan. Nalan, how dare he come in like this? Please show me your invitation card. And what is this? We will open and check it. The boy said to security leader, you have no right to check it. Ask Shangguan Nalan. Here to open it herself. Keep away your hands. Security guard said how dare you call madam full name. Open the gift. Son of bitch, let's go of me. The boy hold security guard fist. Security guard said what is going on. My fist is strong enough to smash the hard stone, but is trapped by him so easily. He released his hand and there was bang. The elder Mogan while watching all of this drama said to his servant what do you think of that guy? He said he can not even block my single attack. Elder Mogan replied to him. Huh, so many people have come to my mother to take revenge all these years, but all of them were thrown to the sea to feed the sharks. Security guard said hey, what are you waiting for? Kill that guy. A girl arrived there at that moment she was the manager of department Zong Wei of Tito restaurant she said to them wait. Security guard said hello Ms. Zong Wei. She came near to the boy and said nice to Meet you sir I am Zan Wei. The manager of department. You can call me Wei. Come on and have some fun. We should talk before we fight. It is not time to fight. Let me see what gift you are taking. She sat down and said I have to check the gift you bring for madam first and then report it to the young master. Chen. Then the boy hit to her and replied to her. You have no right to check it. Ask Shangguan Nalan to be here in person. She said indecent guy, I am so polite to you. How dare you to hit me? Then there was. Arrival of Zhao Makoi the shareholder of Tito restaurant he said, so many men watched Zan Wei be. Bullied by that bustard. He inquired to that man, is this how do your duty? While slapping at the face of. One of the guard Zhao said, what is your job dog? Guard replied, sorry Mr. Zhao we did not did our duty. Well. While moving toward the Zan Wei, Zhao said to her, Zan, are you okay? Zan Wei said, he bullied me, Boohoo, Zhao moved forward and said to the boy, how dare you hit Zan? Do you want to die, kneel and apologize her, and then get out of here? Then boy replied to Zhao, this was my mother old house, where we spent some happy, peaceful, and free days here. Outside there was a lady, calling her children for lunch, she was saying, you are still playing, it is time to have lunch. Brother was, saying to his sister I caught you. Sister was saying to her brother catch me brother. Zhao in very anger, Mood said to the boy, you ignored me, ha, you even dare to bluff before me. Die, idiot. Another boy, arrived there and said to Zhao, Wong, what are you waiting for? Kill him. Security guards also said, guys, kill him. A boy said, so many people are going to him. They will smash that man. 
Zhao said. What? An interesting show. I spent so much buying the gift. It seems to be a gift for Big Show. The boy said. Ignore them. One of the security guards said to the boy, Idiot you are still bluffing, huh? Let me teach you. A good lesson. I used to defeat tens of bluffs alone. My weapon, the iron club, is hard enough to smash. Your bones. The boy replied to security guard. The Chen family will protect me, even if I kill people. Zhao said to Zan let's go. It will be a bloody scene. You will be sacred. There was voice of sword. Whoosh. Then there was a bang. There was a huge fight. All people were fall down by the alone boy. There was complete silent. There were two young girls they were very shocked by the boy actions. They were talking and saying to each other what was going on. Oh my, what happened? Did you see that? Chen Hating said to Mogan, that guy seems to be a little wired. What do you think? Mo replied to Chen. He is talented he can block my three attacks. Chen Hating said to Mogan, that makes me relieved. We are not in hurry to deal with him I just wonder what is in the black bag. Zhao said to Zan Wei ha ha. Big noise. How is that? I said that guy is. While returning back and watching all of these conditions Zhao. Said. He. He is. The boy sat. Zhao said to the boy. You. Come here. Tito restaurant is the business. Of the Chen family. It is young master Chen birthday and engagement day. Madam Nolan will also come. Here soon. I hope. You can know the situation well. Do not be so arrogant. This is the place of the Chen. Family. Young man do not trap yourself here. You cannot fight with them all, though you think you are. Powerful. It would be better for you to leave. The boy replied ha. Zhao said to the boy, since you, do, not leave, I will leave. Madam Nolan Dan and young master Chen are coming soon. I should pacify him. With words. Young master Chen will deal with him when he comes downstairs. There were voices of, whoosh and bang. Dot. Zhao fall down. The boy said to Zhao you said, you wanted my life, since you wanted, to kill me, you have to die here. Zhao started trembling. He fall down in the front of the boy, and he, said I am not afraid of you at all. You do not to kill me here. This the place of Chen family. Nobody dare, to kill people here. The boy put his foot on Zhao head, Zhao started crying and saying, Ah. No. Help. Mogan while steeping down the stairs said to the boy, Stop. There was a rival of Chen Zan Wei said to. Chen. Young master Chen. You are finally here. This man broke the rules. I persuaded him dot but he. Pushed me to the ground and was so arrogant. He is even going to kill Mr. Zhao. What an arrogant guy. He does not even respect you. Please help us. Zhao while falling said to the boy. Hear that. Idiot, you, have offended someone you cannot offend. Take me up and apologize to me, the boy moved forward. And killed Zhao, the boy said, the boy giving me orders just now. Chen began trembling and said to, young Mo popping him up. The boy moving forward toward Chen he began to say no, no, not me. Then, there were two boys talking to each other, what is wrong with young master Chen, cowering at the casual glower of that man. Is he still the rampaging bully known as the East Sea villain Chen Hating? Quote, Who I the hell is that buster, subduing others with merely a few words and a glowering look? Mo said to, The young master Chen, please sit down and leave the matter to me, young master. Mo said to the boy, That I thought you could withstand my first three moves. Now it seems I was wrong. You are capable of, resisting my first ten moves. The other people around Mogan started whispering that wow. Ten moves. Elder Mogan gives such a high estimation. Yes throughout the East Sea, people who can persist the first. Ten moves are extremely rare. And those who can are old fellows. Mogan said to the boy, let me give. You a chance to survive, if you can survive ten rounds, you have my permission to leave. People around. Mogan and the boy started saying that, why do not you grovel in gratitude for the mercy. You are absolutely no match for Elder Mo. It is better to just give in than to suffer humiliation. Be one of the wise men who suit their actions to the necessities of times. The boy said to the Mogan, So you are Mogan, who sent people to Wanfang Mausoleum to dig up tomb and splash lacquer. Mogan ordered, 
to call Du Fei to ask him what is going on in the Wanfang Mausoleum. Mogan said as this guy related to that person buried there, and the object he brings wrapped in black cloth, could it be? The boy said, to Mogan, no need to call, they have all been killed by me. Mogan said to the boy, you have got some nerve, good boy, who exactly are you? The boy replied to Mogan, you are not qualified to ask. Mogan, warned to the boy, since you choose to learn your lesson the hard way, do not blame me for being rude, the boy replied to Mogan, although you were courting death. I would like to make easier for you. You will be counted as the winner as long as you can withstand my first move. There was clatter. There was fight. People around started saying, kill him, Elder Mo. Kill him. There was bang and there was bleeding from the mouth of Mogan. Mogan said to the boy, who are you exactly? When did such a fierce dragon fly over here from Ocean East? There was a kid and the boy asked to him, Do you have agate pomegranates here? The boy said, I remember when I was child, there was a pomegranate tree in the courtyard that produced that produced the sweetest agate pomegranates. Under the tree, mother sat to wash clothes, and I frolicked with my sister. Mogan said to the boy, I am asking you a fucking question. Why are you talking about fucking agate pomegranates? Powerful as you are, here is after all the Chen's domain, Kof, Chen Badao, the head of Chen clan, is the number one fighter in the Ocean East. So I suggest you do not cause yourself troubles. The boy said, Chen Badao, now the husband of Shangguan Nalan. But he wooed my mother back when he was a young master in the top. Young master in Ocean East. At that time, I had thought without doubt that Chen Badao truly liked my Mother until I accidentally overheard the conversation between him and young master Chen. Replied to the boy, Humph is the very handsomest young talent in the ocean east with so noble. A status, how can I possibly fall in love with that old sick woman who was so shameless as to abuse my kindness? Then the boy replied to the young master Chen, mother killed herself by jumping off a building, for which Chen Badao should take his share of blame, as he provoked her to do so. Mogan, replied to the boy, kneel down outside the door and kowtow one thousand times for stirs. Our host who has always been merciful may leave your body intact. Sure enough, the announcement of our house owner's name makes the guy cringe. The boy replied to, Mogan, my question is if you have agate pomegranates or are not, yes or no. Spare your chatter. Then there was tud, and thump, and there was complete silence. Mogan fell down. Zhang Wei observing all of these things said, how could it happen to Elder Magain? The boy said, to the young master Chen, you, young master Chen, tell me if you have agate. Pomegranates here or are not. Chen while trembling replied to the boy, the, the, there is, no agate pomegranates here, but I can send people to buy it for you. The boy replied to Chen, please hurry up, remember, I only accept agate pomegranate. At the fifth floor of the restaurant there was complete silence and patriarch wen was saying that today engagement and the subsequent marriage bond you wen clan and us chen clan together which is an occasion of great festivity for ocean east your daughter wen zuding and my nephew chen ting are in envied pair almost perfectly made for each other there was sister of shangguan nal and her name was shangguan su su saying that it is just my elder sister shangguan nal and brother in law chen badao are absent from this occasion on their trip abroad to expand our family business, so that's why I am presiding at this engagement banquet today. Hope Patriarch Wen will pardon such an arrangement. The Patriarch of Wen Clan, Wen Qingshan replied to her, you are overly courteous, President. Shangguan, as your status and title are well known around Ocean East, we are so honored to have you to host this banquet, Wen Qingshan said to Zuding you will have to show some intimate affection to young master Chen later when you two meet. Our Wen clan is currently facing with big trouble, and thus need to choose a strong partner. Throughout Ocean East, only the supreme fighter Chen Badao is powerful enough to be our choice. He further said to her that you know that I do not like young master Chen master at all, the problem is that our rival is too strong. I owes you for this. Wen Zuding replied to her father, yes I know, 
Father, there is actually no choice for me between my personal romance and my clan survival but my life has been given by that person, I would probably have not even been able to hear as I am now. It is pity that after our chance encounter, destiny would not have us meet again for me to repay him. Then suddenly a security guard arrived and said, President Shangguan, there is a troublemaker downstairs, who has not killed Zhao Maosai, but also injured Elder Mogan, and is now treating your master Chen, Shangguan Nalan said, who is so audacious as to run wild here. It is like committing suicide. Wen Qingshan said to Shangguan, President Shangguan such a matter is too trivial to deserve your personal care. Let me pen a few words, which should be enough to frighten away the invader. Then rolled the paper and wrote some words on that. A security guard took Chen Master up and said to him, Young Master Chen, your fiancé has come downstairs to look for you, get yourself up now. Chen Master said, I have been chasing after Wen, zooting for a long time, but she has always treated me coldly. This is first time, she shows such an eager interest in me, it seems she has finally accepted me. Then a security guard said to Qingxian Wen, Chen Badao dominate the martial world, while Wen Qingxian dominates the cultural world. No one dares to take lightly the prestige of Patriarch Wen. Please allow me the pleasure of serving to display your work, Mr. Wen. Security guard said to Shangguan. Su Su, Patriarch Wen can be regards as the ultimate, who should be able to inspire a sense of awe in any mobster. Wen Zuding said to her father, Dad I am following him downstairs. Dad replied to her, Okay. While watching Xuanding downstairs security guards started saying to each other, this is the prince of Wen clan, what a beauty. Surely a match for young master Chen, they are an envied pair. One boy said to other, I feel it would be worth giving up my life to marry her, Xuanding. Thought who on the earth is so bold as to be causing troubles at this place. While looking at the boy she said, that figure, that is, she said, is him, him, she thought two years ago, I went with my father abroad to engage in a business negotiation. However we failed to reach a bargain with our partner, who in turn held us hostage, my father managed to get me out of the car with all he could do. But I still got hunted down by them and was about to die on the spot. At that moment, a burly figure landed from above, like an ancient valiant hero, and saved not only me but also my father by overturning the two cars trying to crash into me. Although we only had this one brief interaction, his heroic figure has so deeply impressed me, that even many years later, now it is still enshrined in my heart as an everlasting memory. The men I met during these years all seem plain in contrast with him, no matter how excellent they are. Then a security guard moved forward toward Master Chen and said to him, Young Master Chen your fiancé Miss Wen came downstairs to see you. Come on, get up. Chen Master while standing said, I have been chasing her for long, but she is so cold to me. It is the first time she has ever cared about me. She must have been touched by me. Master said to Zuding, Do not worry. I am okay. There was huge hug between them Zuding said to the boy, I miss you so much all these years. Security guards while watching that scene started saying to each other, What? They are not married yet. Young Master Chen already became a cuckold. No wonder this guy has so much animosity on his face. He is here for Wen Zuding. She deserves to be the most beautiful woman in the ocean east. His fiancé cheated on him at their engagement party. What a shame. Not only him by the Chen family are humiliated. She questioned to the boy, it was you. The boy said to her, three years ago, I was just walking by, and I saved my childhood playmate. When we were living in Ocean East, my sister and I were ostracized by peers. We did not many real friends. And when Zuding was one of them, more than once, she stepped in and defended us. And the Wen family had a reputation that time. Someone said to me, and my sister, you guys pick on one girl. Shame on you. The boy further said, if it was not for Wen. Zuding we could not stay in school at all. This kindness has been hidden in the depths of my heart. Never forgotten. Wen Zuding replied to him, if it had not been for you, my father and I would have died in a foreign land. 
It has been three years. I thought I would never see you again. Your life in such a hurry. I did not even get a chance to thank you. I am Wen Zuding. You can call me Zuding. What is your name, hero? The boy replied, I am Zon Fei. It is one of my aliases. My childhood name was Zon. Wuxing. Wen Zuding replied to Zon, Your surname is also Zon. What a confidence. I have a friend with the same surname, but I have not seen him in years. Zon said to her, Do you believe in fate? You will meet one day. At the fifth floor of the restaurant, conservation between two families was continued. One of them said, It is finally quiet downstairs. Let's keep on drinking. Thanks to you, Mr. Wen, you shut everyone up by just a few strokes. One of them said to Changguan Susu, in East Sea, Chen Badao can do martial arts, while Wen Qingxian can do polite letters. That is so true, that is amazing, you are a legend. She replied to him, I am also proud to be your in-laws, haha. Mr. Wen said to the other guy, my son, could marry such a beauty, our family is bound to prosper. He replied to him, right when Mr. Hiding was still a child, I knew he would have a good wife start a great career and have a successful life. There was knock at the door the guy said, Mr. Wen the guy outside. Wen replied, I know what is going on. He is pushing his luck, wanting my calligraphy, right? Go tell him, it is his honor to have my handwriting. It is gonna be the most valuable thing in his house. While security guard knocking the door outside was saying that, no, Mr. Wen, Miss Wen and he are, they, are, they are, Mr. Wen replied, oh, you mean young master Chen and Zuding, it is okay for young people to kiss and cuddle, they are going to get married anyway, Changguan Susu while putting her hand on her ear said, actually, I kind of hope Zuding gets pregnant before they get married, in this case, his parents would be so glad, the guy said to the mister, when, mister, when please come with me, mister, Wen while watching all that condition said, what is going on here? Changguan Susu also said, what is wrong? Is that heading? Is he causing trouble again? Well, that is the way he is. He is all grumpy, you know. Last time he met a pretty girl at high party. He dragged her straight in the private room and anyway, the Chen family is powerful in Ocean East. Changguan Susu and Mr. Wen while watching Wen. Zooting with the boy said, What? What the hell? Changguan Susu said to Mr. Wen, Who is that piece of? Cuddling with your daughter. How dare she kiss and cuddle with a strange guy before her fiancé? What? A disgrace. Shameless. Mr. Wen replied to her, I, I do not know him. They were bragging about my handwriting just now. Now I did not get rid of him. And even dragged my daughter into it. So ashamed. Changguan Susu said, Anyway, Mr. Wen, I need an explanation. I would not allow your daughter. Indiscretions to dishonor our family. Otherwise, I am afraid his parents would not get over with it. Mr. Wen replied to Ms. Changguan, Please do not jump to conclusion before it is all clear. Mr. Chen knows. My daughter well, does not her. I am going down and check it out, okay? Mr. Wen said to Zuding, What? are you doing? Zuding replied. Dad, look, our savior is here. Do not you always talk about him? Mr. Wen while smiling and directing toward the boy said to him, you, you are my savior. Mr. Wen while gripping the boy hand said to him, savior, I have been looking for you all the time. Well, but you look so familiar. Zuding said to her father, dad, I have asked him. His surname is also Zan, but he is Zan Fei. Not that Zan Wuxing. The boy replied to them, It is nothing, never mind. Remember when I was a child, when Zuding often invited my sister and I to her house. And when Qingxian was warm and friendly to us, he always prepared a hearty meal for us by himself. It was very kind of him, the head of the Wen family to do so. Heading said to Changguan Susu, And you have to speak out for me. The jerk is so arrogant. He was carrying a black thing and said he wanted to talk to my mom. Mogan and the security guards were all beaten by him. Changguan replied to Heading, Do not worry, Heading. 
I am gonna check who is messing around in my place. Chang Wan said to Mr. Wen, this is your explanation. Fuck, you let her hook up with that piece of shit. If I had known you daughter was a slut, we would not accept her. Even if you begged us. Mr. Wen replied to her, you, watch your mouth. Do not go too far. She replied, to Mr. Wen, I go too far. Fuck you, this is what called a scholar family. I cannot believe you raised such a slut. Well, they are not married yet. It is not too late. I am breaking this engagement on behalf of his parents. And I want the two shameless brats to kowtow to heading and apologize. Otherwise, none of you are leaving here today. Wen Zuding said, how could you say that about us? The boy said, what? You want a fight? Changun Susu said to the boy, you will regret your rudeness. There was a rival of Mr. Xifeng. He said, here I am. Wen Zuding said to the boy, he is Xifeng Lai, one of Chen Badao. Notorious flunkies. He is particularly so aggressive. He did a lot terrible things. Everybody in the Ocean East knows him. People call him the Judge Death. Even Mogan is no match for him. You gotta be careful. Heading said to Mr. Xifeng, do not just kill him. That is too easy for him. Make the rest of his life a living hell. Young Master Chen said to the boy, how dare are you to steal my fiancé? I am young, Master Chen. No one could humiliate me like this. On the other hand Mogan said, help me up. Mr. Xifeng, avenge me on him. Kill that brat. Mr. Xifeng said to the boy, young man, you are no match for me. I will give you three seconds. Surrender or die. Chang Guan Susu said, he got off lightly this time. Xifeng holds a special position in Chen family. He speaks for the head of the family in some ways. It is easy for him to just submit to us. Heading said, we let you off lightly. But never mind, you have to do. Whatever I wish as a servant of our family if I ask you to suck up, then you just do it. Heading said to Zooting, are you, bitch? How dare you flirt with other man in the front of me? I am going to make you regret. She replied to him, Chen Heading, I have no feelings for you. Please do not bother me anymore. Heading said to her, you hooked up with this bastard and became arrogant. The boy slapped at the face of Heading and said to him, where is the agate pomegranate I asked to buy? Heading said to him, God, damn it, how could you still care about the agate pomegranates now? Mr. Xifeng, kill this bastard. Mr. Xifeng replied to Heading, young man, is not good to be alive. Do you really want to say goodbye to this world? The boy said, where is the agate pomegranate? There was, ah, uh, full of murderous aura, Heading, stumble and fell down. He said to the mister, Xifeng, help me. There was bang. Security guard started, saying to the mister, Xifeng, great, mister. Zephin gets into the fight. Kill this wild man, so wildly arrogant, he would have be killed. Pomegranate you wish. Mogan said, he faces certain death beaten by mister, Xifeng. Changguan Susu while sitting at the chair said, mister, Xifeng gets into fight, a shoe in. Heading while, standing said that, I have thought of ways to torture him. He will suffer after defeat. Although I know, you has great skills, Xifeng life is the grand general under Chen Badao who is the first master of East. See, not a man to be trifled with. And we are strangers in this strange land. Mr. Xifeng said to the boy, it is too late to surrender. Go to hell. There was fight between Xifeng and the boy. Guys that was today. Episode new episode will upload as early as possible, thanks for watching, take care of you, good, we can see that there is a guy whose name is Mr. Xifeng he said to the boy, this pendant is only for the general of wing cavalry, back then in that vital battle, 10,000 wing cavalry swept through the desert, north, expelling the foreign invaders and retaking the lost territories, it is war that founded our state. Only the generals of wing cavalry is qualified to wear that pendant. I signed up when they were recruiting. Pity that I was eliminated in the first section. Yet, as far as I know, the pendant is determined by the rank of general. The lowest rank is made of iron. Then there is bronze, 
silver and gold. As the rank increases, and the Supreme One has a rock engraved on it. I am sure he bought that from eBay to play. Cool. Mr. Xifeng tried to attack on the boy but the boy disappeared from the front. Mr. Xifeng said to the boy, Well, I guess you youth do anything to make you look cool now. Then the boy arrived and said to Mr. Heading, Where is the agate pomegranate? Then, Mr. Xifeng said to the boy, Stop acting cool. You are dying now. Go to hell. Mr. Xifeng attacked on the boy but the boy was protected by Aura. Mr. Xifeng said, What is happening? That is Aura is protecting him. Just like what the legend says. That is the rock pendant. Only one person is qualified to have that rock pendant. That is the emperor of war. Mr. Xifeng bowed down in the front of the boy then Shangguan Susu said to him. Mr. Xifeng, what is wrong? Is this some emergency? Mr. Heading also said, what are you waiting for? Call 911. Miss Zong said that we got some first aid medicine here. There were two doctors who said to the Mr. Xifeng, Mr. Xifeng hang in there, take the medicine, and we will take you to the hospital. Then Mr. Them, it seems like the heart attack or other emergency. We only got minutes to save him, or he will be dead. The priority is not to take medicine, but to do artificial respiration to help him regain consciousness. Then we have to send him to the hospital quickly. Mr. Heading ordered to a guard, you hurry up, give Mr. Exifing artificial respiration. Then Miss Changguan said to Mr. Heading, Heading, matured. He experienced something and now can take over the situation very fast. He is handling this properly. Then security guard said, Do not panic. Mr. Xifeng, I am giving you artificial respiration now. Then suddenly Mr. Xifeng stood up. He was in very anger mood. He said to the security G yards, I will. Fuck you. Mr. Heading said to Mr. Xifeng, Mr. Xifeng you. Mr. Xifeng slapped on his face and said to him, Do I look like having cerebral infarction? Even unbeaten Chen Badao has a stupid son. How dumb. Then Miss Shangguan Susu said to Mr. Xifeng, Are you crazy? Then Mr. Xifeng replied to her, Do not drag me down if you want to die. It does not matter you being arrogant. But do not be dumb. You will be hopeless if you are both. Shangguan Susu got them all. I am warning you with actions. But you have not realized that something was wrong. Then Shangguan Susu said to Mr. Xifeng, You are servant sore. At me. When my brother in law comes back. Mr. Xifeng also slapped on the face of Shangguan Susu. She said, Where the hell are the securities? Take this betrayed man down. She said to Mr. Xifeng, Get up. Then Mr. Xifeng kicked on her back and said to her, Chen Badao is just a local bully of Sea East. He is. Nothing compared with Lord Zon who controls half of the world. He is not even the piece of shit. I am trying to make up for my offense. Hope Lord Zon could forgive me and spare my life. Then Miss Shangguan Susu said to Mr. Xifeng, You son of bitch, ganged up with that buster to punch my guy. I am gonna chop you up for dog meat. Then there was a rival of a man, Miss Shangguan Susu said to him. Who are you? What the hell do you want? Then the man gasped on her leg and said to her, Kill all people. Who show no respect for the king? He lift her up and there was boom. Miss. Shangguan Nalan said, Spare. Me. Then the man said to the boy, King, there are other fellows watching the graveyard. I am. Here at your command. Then the boy said to the man, This is not a battlefield. You need get rid of the. Bad habit of smashing everything you see. Then the man saw all security guards and Mr. Xifeng he said, to them, you are just standing there. Take my hammer first. Then Mr. Xifeng said to the man, that is horrible. Just a subordinate is so powerful. I could be either dead or disabled if hit by that hammer. Even the tough Mogan stands still behind this young man. He could be way too powerful. Maybe I misjudged him. Then all security guards kneel down in the front of the man. Then Mr. Heading said to the boy, Please do not kill me, 
Then the boy said to him, Where is my thing, then Mr. Heading said to the security guard, Pomegranate where is the agate pomegranate, then Mr. Heading said to the boy, Sorry, here is your agate pomegranate. Then the boy said, I can give it to my sister. She will be surprised, Mr. Heading said to the boy, You had the pomegranate. My parents have gone abroad. How about coming to visit another day, since your mother is away? Then you take this for her. Tell her that a month later. Then the boy replied to Mr. Heading, I will kill your entire family. Then there was a bang and Mr. Heading fall down. Then Shang Wan Susu said to the boy, Do not be arrogant. I will kick your ass when my brother in law comes back. Then the boy said to his servant, Kill all people who blasphemy the king. The servant said to the boy, King, are we going for Wushuang? Then the boy replied to him, My sister. Real name is Zhang Wushuang. She has been found. Now I am going to see her. I have been waiting for this moment for many years. Then the boy reached at Ocean East High School Library. The boy said, This school is the best high school in the Ocean East. Students here are all the best. My sister Zan, Wushuang, entered this school as first place in this city. She now is called Long Yidan. My aunt took Yidan with her away to hide from Shangguan Nalan and Chen Badao. When I lift, she was just a little girl. Now, she is a big girl. Then there were three men who were taking about the sister of the boy Zan Wushuang. One of them said to other, Boss, I swear that chick is the best. She is bootylicious and young. Then other, man said to the boss, Well she is the school babe. I bet you she is still a virgin. Boss you can be her first. Man tonight. Then boss replied to both of them, Fuck you. She is Mr. Poos. We are only here to take her. Back. Do not think what you should not think. You know Mr. Poo's temper. If you ruffle his feathers, I promise you will be dead. Then they said to the boss, Boss, we are just saying, yeah, just saying. We would not do anything. Then boss replied to them, Remember, she will come out later. And we can only tie her up when there is nobody around. I do not want anyone to see us. Then a man said to the boss, Rest assured, boss, we will do a perfect job. I have poked about it. Her parents are all normal. People. Then there was slap on the face of one guy by his boss and boss said to him, Just two nobodies, I. Am sure they would not say anything if Mr. Who gives them some money and says some threading words. That bitch is hell lucky to be chosen by Mr. Who and we have to pay them. Relax, we can all enjoy her. Body after Mr. Who opens her tunnel. Then there was a rival of the car. That was the car of the boy and his servant. And the man said to the car, Now, go to tell that driver to move his car. He is fucking in our way. Then a man knocked out the door of the car and said to them, Hey, move your car. Do not be get in our way. Then the boy replied to that guy, Get me some coffee and I will spare you. The boy was thinking that these people are committing crimes. I can let them since I have already heard it. Then, Guy moved forward and said to the boy, What did you say? Fuck away. Who the fuck do you think you are? You are asking for trouble, you bustard. Then boss said, Let me see which brat is rocking the boat. A guy moved toward the boss and said to the boss that boy is saying me to bring coffee for him. The boss in funny mood said haha you want coffee. I will get you some freshly made coffee. He put his urine in a glass. Then a guy said to the boss, so generous bro. This is totally a treat that he would better appreciate it. The boy was thinking that, where are those residents from south of city are? Where are they placed? My aunt lived in the south of the city. And it was demolished two years ago. I wonder where they are now. If she had not taken my sister away with her, maybe my sister would have been killed by Shangguan Nalan. The boss said to the boy, you ignored me. You fool should not try to play. Cool in front of me, you know. Then a guy said to the boss, Boss, school is over. That chick is out. Boss, said to the boy, Fine, I will excuse today. Then he threw cup that was filled with urine on the boy. A girl, was saying to Yidan, Thank for helping me with my study. I would not fail the test thanks to that math. 
problem you taught me. She suddenly saw a group of boys coming toward her. She said to Yidan, look, those hooligans who harassed you last time came again. All of her friends and Yidan started saying to each other, we should go to our teachers. Those people are completely savages. Look, those hooligans came again. The girl was standing here. While look at Yidan she said, look at her totally as still, they started talking to each other. Yeah, that is why those hooligans came for her instead of anyone else. It is all her fault. Then boss moved forward and said to Yidan, ha ha, girl, you are not running away again. Then guard of school arrived and said to the guard, hey, you have gone too far. This is a school, you cannot act like this here. This is a public place. You have to abide by the law. Then boss replied to him, oh, you want to talk about the law with me? Tell you what, I am the law. There was fight between boss and guard. Yidan thought that it would be better for her to go away from that place. Then boss said to Yidan, girl, stop wasting our time. Just come with me. Come on. Let go for a drive. There was a teacher her name was Ms. Shaw. She said to Yidan, Yidan, get on. Ms. Shaw took away him away for that group of boys. A guy said to his, boss, boss, that bitch took your chick. Should we go chase after them? Then boss slapped on his face and said to him, chase after them. What are you? A racing car. Then boss said to other guy, you may need go to school. Remember, we are smart hooligans. Yeah, yeah I know you would figure it out. Boss was thinking that she can run away, but she would not go too far. Her father runs a stall in the night market. I bet she is heading there. Well I am hungry. Anyway, guess her father will treat us to a free meal. Then a guy said to boss, boss you are the smartest food and chick. Best boss ever. Then the boy while driving reached near to boss and other guys and said to them, you are dead, on the other hand. Yidan was heeding toward her father in night market her father name was Long Dongqiang. She said to her father, dad I am back, he said to her, go get your homework done. I do not want you to help me. He looked Ms. Shaw and said to her, so glad to have you here. Have a seat, the lamb is almost done. She replied to him, thanks, but I have some business to deal with, come on. Nothing wait more than dinner, just take a seat and I will bring to you very soon. Then Yidan said to Ms. Shaw, do not tell my dad what happened today, I do not want him to worry about me. Then her father wished her birthday and a bought a cake for her. Then Yidan said to her Miss, sorry, sweetie, dad is not rich enough to buy you a bigger cake. Then her father said to her, let alone an expensive birthday gift, will you blame me? Then, she replied to her father, Dad, what are you talking about? I do not need a gift or cake. You cooked the lamb for me, and that is the best gift. Then her teacher said to her, Yidan, make a wish now. Yidan said, my first wish, hope my adoptive parents are healed I all the time. Second hope my natural mother, who is in heaven, can enjoy the peace. Third hope my brother can find me sooner. He has been missing for ten years. How is he now? Will someone take care of him when it is cold or rain? Will someone look after him when he is sick? There was a rival of bus and the same group of people popped up from that bus. Boss while watching toward Yidan said, I see why she ran away that fast. The pretty chick is having her birthday today. Then he violently moved forward and grabbed the cake in absurd a way. After tasting the cake he said, what the hell is wrong with this cake? It tastes so poor. While tossing the cake up he said, to Yidan, you cannot even afford a better cake. What is the point of your being alive? Why do not you just die? Then observing all of these things Ms. Shaw moved forward and said to the boss, you have gone too far. Long Yidan is my student. Hurt her and I will let you pay the price, then boss said to Ms. Shaw, I, kinda like you hot teacher, huh, let me be your student, and let it be on my bed. She slap on his face, and said to him shameless, then boss replied to her, oh, I like you even more. You can slap me, and I, will spank you tonight, 
Boss ordered to his servants, Go, get her into the car. Then Long Dongqiang moved forward and requested to him, Slow down, Mr. Jing there is no rush. We can talk about it. What a misunderstanding. How about beer on me? And I will get you some lamb. Relax first and then we talk about it. Then boss replied to him, Count yourself lucky. I am latterly a bit hungry. Get me the lamb. Now, try to escape, and I will only fuck you harder. Then he sat down and started pouncing on the lamb. Dot. Then Yidan said to his father, Dad I am sorry these people come at me. Then her dad replied to her, It is okay. Dad is here no one can hurt you. I have called Mr. G. We will be fine. Then her father think, Alas, fate is unfair. When I was rich, no one dared to treat me like this. Now I am just a nobody. I can only take whatever they give. Then ten minutes later, Mr. G arrived. Long Dongqiang, father of Yidan, gave him some dollars and said him to take care of his daughter. Then Ji replied to him, Easy peasy, it is just that I am a little hungry. Nothing can be done on an empty stomach. Bring me some lamb. Then he said to him, Okay, okay. Then Ji and boss sat together started drinking. Later boss said to Long Dongqiang, I can spare you for the sake of Ji. Long Dongqiang said to boss, My two grand are working, finally he is. Relenting. Then boss replied to him, I will have your protection fee this month. But your daughter has to come with us, Mr. Who chose her and she has to serve him tonight. Hand her over if you want to be. Survive. Otherwise, it will soon be a bloody scene. Then Dongqiang replied to him, Ha ha, a good joke. My daughter is just a kid. We can talk it over. Maybe you would like. Then boss slapped on his face and said to him, what the hell? Talk it over. Who do you think you are? Still that rich bustard. Then Mr. G moved forward and said to Dongqiang, Step aside when you have to give her to us. You will be safe and sound. Then Dongqiang replied to him, Screw you. I am not selling my daughter. If you want to take her, then defeat me first. Then Ji said to him, Who are you yelling at? If it were not for the money, who? The fuck will mind your fucking business. Then they grabs him and said to him, Get on your knees. Then boss said to him, You are blessed that Mr. Who likes her pretty face? You fucking pauper cannot even afford a nice cake. I know you were swindled when running the business that is because you are a jinx, and you will bring your bad luck to everyone around you. Then other guys along with their said to Yidin, come with us girl. We do not have to go tough. Then by using full power Dongqiang freed his arms from both of them and said to them, You beast! Do not touch my girl. There was bleeding from the mouth of boss. Then in anger he slapped on Dongqiang's face. They started beating him and one of guy said to them, Beat him. He want to be a good dad. And we will make him a good dad. Then, Yidan moved forward and said to them, Do not hurt my dad. Then in hurry they took away Yidan by car. But it was fortune of Yidan that was saving him. The car in hurry strike with the car of Yidan brother. Her brother moved out from the car and said to boss, You do not feel ashamed to bully the weak. There were two girls who started talking to each other while looking toward him. One said to other Jez, He is so freaking hot. Then Jez replied to her, Hot. He is totally my dream guy. I have never seen a more handsome man. Oh, my heart is racing. I cannot wait to date him. Then suddenly Yidan glanced at her brother and said to her, You are Wushuang. Then he replied to her, Yes, it is me, I am back. Then she pinched her finger and said this is not my dream. My brother is back. She said to him, You are back, you are really back. You know I was just making a wish, hoping we could return soon. And this is happening. Now, you would not leave again right? Then he replied to her, I would not. I will be here with you every day. No one can bully my sister from now on. Then the boy thought that I, king of war, conquered half of the land. When being crowned, I was merely twenty years old. Everyone in the country knows my name. I am only one who won that honor. Thus my word is my oath and the law. No one can break it. Then boss said to the boy, 
You were the brat outside that school, right? Seems you have not learned enough. Lessons, and you want some more. No wonder you follow us here. The bitch is your little sister. If you are smart enough, get us 1,201,000 as your compensation to us. I am really fair. It is for my minivan. Pay now, or you will die here. Then the boy said to her sister, I remember it is not your birthday today, so why today? Then she replied to him, Our aunt sent me here on this day ten years ago. Dad wanted to remember it, so we made it my second birthday. Of course, I still value my first birthday. Then he said to her, I see, here I got your gift, there was a plant of agate pomegranate in his hand. While looking that gift she said, Oh, it is agate pomegranate, my favorite. Then looking at both of them, said, He is completely ignoring me. He said to the boy, Hey, you ruined my car. And you not want to say anything about that. I have never seen anyone cocky like you. I swear you will dead today. Then, Mr. G moved forward and said to the boss, Let me talk to him and check him if he is some big shot. After that we will know what to do. Then boss said to him, Fine, I am not fucking him up now for the sake of you. Then G moved forward and said to the boy, that crash is on you. That is so like a savage. How about this? Take one million as your compensation to him. That is super fair, and you got a kneel before. My bro until he feels better. Then the boy said to her sister, take me to meet our aunt after you finish. This pomegranate, I have not seen her for a long time. Is she doing well? Tell me what happened to her. She replied to him, she is indeed in trouble, but this is a long story. Then he said, okay, let talk in detail. When we are back at home. Then G said to the boy, you think you can go home? Hope you will think the same later. G said to the boss, bro, he does not look familiar. Definitely not any rich boy in Ocean East. Just a stupid brat. Then boss ordered to one guy, he said what are you waiting for? Go fuck him up. She said to her brother, I am so scared. Then he replied to her, you do not have to fear. I am here. Then a guy moved toward the boy, then he said to him, I told you to bring me some coffee, right? Then he replied to him, what the heck, are you fucking nuts? Drink your ass. There was huge fight between them. There was complete silence. The boss said uh, is it even real? G said, no shit. The boy said to them, you want to take my sister, right? Come here, I got some question for you. Then boss said to the boy, you brat, you think you are the best. See if you can afford it if I make a call. Then boy replied to him, oh, then make a call, please. Then there was whisper and all guys around boss fell down. The boss said to the boy, just wait. My cousin will bring his people here. I said people, brat, you will soon be fucked. Then Mr. G also said to the boy, let me tell you, you are in big trouble now. You would not have to suffer later if you had just taken my advice. His cousins rule this area and has dozens of matchatmen. Even I have to bow to him. Hand your sister and a million over now. Kneel and beg for our mercy. Then, we may spare you, otherwise you will be dead as soon as they arrive. Then the boy father said to him, you are Yedon biological brother, right? Son listen, you really need to run now. That man is ruthless and fierce. We ordinary people cannot mess with him. Then his father pointing toward a building said to him. It was an internet bar, but the owner refused to pay protection money. When his cousin Yao knew about it, the owner had a car accident and a high amputation. Then there is no more internet bar. It drew great attention but ended up like nothing ever happened. Then boy picked up a chair in his father sat at that, he said to his father, Mr. Long, thank you for taking care of my sister for all these years, you do not have to work anymore from now on, I will support and protect you, do not worry about anything, then Mr. G said, tut, protect him, you cannot even protect yourself, on the other hand, the boy father said to him, son, I know you are a good boy, so please, take Eden and leave here. I will, hold them off, then his sister said to him, I know you are good, 
but they more people. You cannot possibly beat them all by yourself. Please let leave here now. Then boy replied to her, I am not doing this all by myself. Behind me it is an army, and we can conquer everything in front of us. The boss began, laughing and saying, you fucking cannot, you even come back to reality. An army, get your army here, and I will kill all of your asses. There was a rival of Yao. Boss said to the boy, brat, you hear that? Yao, wants to see you. Go show him your stupid face. Then boy smashed him and he fell down. Then Mr. G. said to the boy, you bustard. Still this cocky even though Yao is here. I am sure you are really looking forward to your life in hell. Then boss said to Yao, Yao, look. He is acting like a crazy bitch even after you arrived. He is showing no respect to you at all. Then Yao replied to the boy, a brat under my Watch, I will count to three and you have a chance to crawl to me and beg for my mercy, Yao said, one, on. The other hand Ms. Sha was introducing himself to the boy, he was saying that I am Sha Chinghe from the Sha family, spare them for my grandpa Sake please. She was thinking that, Yidan brother could fix this. Turn out he could do nothing to help and even made it worse. Now the situation is out of control. What, should I do? Then Yao said to the boss, Humph, the Shaw family, you think I will spare them for something you said, not even your grandpa Shaw Shuhin can save them. Shaw said to the Yao, Mr. Yao, Yidan is my student, I cannot watch you take her away no matter what, I am a teacher. The boy thought, that, she is quite brave to say such words as a weak woman in this situation. Impressive, the boy said, to Shaw, thank you for trying to protect my sister. If you need any trouble in the future, come to me. On the other hand Yao was counting and Sha said to her, Can you shut up? You screwed us up. Saying. Something like protecting me, you cannot even protect yourself. Yao count two then the boy said three. Then, there was fight between them. Then suddenly security guard of Tito restaurant Wang Shanyao saw the boy there and said, What? Why is he here? Ba said to Mr. G. That brat must be nuts. Look Yao is quivering with anger. Then boss said to the boy, you can stop playing cool, brat kneel now and crawl now. Then Yao said to the boy, you should have accepted my advice. This would not be this tough if you did. Alas young bustard. Then a guy was bringing the coffee for the boy suddenly he fall down Yao said to him, oh, this is not my problem now. He asked for it, mister. Zong was standing there the guy said to him, come on brat. Here is your coffee, ha ha. He threw the coffee on his mouth. Mr. Zong said to him, coffee your mother, you son of bitch. How dare you offend Mr. Zong, are you courting death? Then boss said to Yao, what are you doing? Then Yao slapped on the face of boss and said to him, what am I doing? What the fuck are you doing? Why on the earth you offend Mr. Zong? How tough do you think you are? Do not drag me into your problem. Then Ji said, what is wrong with Yao? This does not look good. He said to Yao, I am kinda busy. You know, I should leave you be. Gotta go. Bye. Then Zan slapped on his face and said to him, bye your mother ass. You think you can leave after you annoyed Mr. Zan. Ji said to Yao, I am just here to pass the message. This has nothing to do with me. Then Zan said to him, shut your fucking mother up. Then Yao moved forward and said to the boy, I am sorry Mr. Zan. Then he kneeled down in the front of Zan. He said to him, I do not know it was you. Please, I beg for your mercy. Spare this time please. Then there were two boys passing from there, while watching Yao keen down in the front of Zan they said, what is this? The notorious bully, Mr. Yao is kneeling before that guy. What? I do not understand. Why is Yao kneeling? Then the boy father began to thinking that, it seems Yidan brother is actually some big shot. Thank goodness that Yidan will be fine. It is just that who behind this is Mr. Ku. And family in Ocean East is as powerful as the Chen family. The latter has the strongest man in the Ocean East, Chen Badao. The two big families basically rule Ocean East. Yidan brother may be good, but he is all alone. 
It is impossible for him to defeat them. Alas we gotta think about it later. Grandpa name did not work, but his name did well, even so, he is just a mindless boor. Then Yidin began to thinking that, he can be strong but he cannot shake someone else place. Fighting cannot really fix the problem. And I, do not think he really can combat the Pooh family. Then the boy said to his father, Long, Yidin is my biological sister and they tired to hurt her. Would you let them go like this if you were in my shoes? There was fight between the boy and boss and he said a guy that was a long boss, where is my coffee? Then guy replied to him, I am sorry, I will get it for you right now. Then boss said to the boy, Mr. Zon, it is Mr. Who who asked to do this? He wants your sister, I am just here to pick her up. Then boy replied to him, I will go to Pooh later. Now you are only the problem I have to fix. Then boy picked him up by his hairs and bounced him with car and there was bleeding from his head. He said to him, come on, this is your masterpiece, and you are now cleaning this with your tongue. Then boss replied to him, Mr. Zon, it will be a huge disgrace. You cannot humiliate like this. This is too much. Then Zon replied to him, oh, so you are reasoning with me. Because you now you can never defeat me. What happened to that brat? Who splashed urine on my car? You think you are qualified to reason with me? Then again he beat him with his car and said him to lick that. Then boss said to him, Yeah, yeah, I will of course lick it. On the other side Yao was fall down there Zon called out him. He said to him, You, come here. You said you would make me kneel and beg, right? Yao said to Zon, Sorry, it is my bad. I am the one who will kneel and beg. Then Zon picked him up and bounce him. Zon said to Yao, You think anyone can just kneel to me at their wish? Then he began to slapping on his face. He inquired to him, Now, tell me, what have you done wrong? Yao replied to him, I am in charge of this place, but I did not do my job well. It is all my fault. Then Zon again slapped him and said to him, now that you know it is all your fault. What should you do? Then Yao said to father of Yidin, Sorry, Mr. Long, I was too stupid in the past. I underestimated and offended you. Sorry, please do not kill me, spare me, please. Then boss also got up and began saying, Mr. Long, Mr. Long, I will regard you as family from now on. Spare me I am begging you. I will get the protection fee back to you. I will double. No, I will give you ten times as you handed in. Before, as compensation to you. Then another guy stood up and said to him, Mr. Long we all are sorry. Spare us this time, please. Then a guy said to Zon, Spare me please. I swear this has nothing to do with me. Then Zon replied to him, I did not anything about you. Then guy said to him, Yeah, but why was? I beaten up, my cheek is still burning now, what I can say about it? Then Zon replied to him, everyone, break a finger and fuck off. Then guy said to him, but Mr. Zon we. Then Zon said two fingers. Then guy, said Mr. Zon we apologize. Then Zon said three fingers. Boss said Mr. Zon I. Then Zon said, say one word more and you will lose one arm and your head. Then a guy said, what the fuck are you waiting for? Then Guy broke his own fingers and Yao began to cut his fingers. Then Zon said to them, fuck off. Now, they all were crawling away from him. Zon's sister Yidin said to him, you are amazing now it is all over. Let go home. Miss Shaw said to Yidin, hold on, I need to talk to your brother. She said to Zon, since you are Yidin brother I will be just straight or frank with you. Maybe you got some fame during the period that you were missing. But I have to remind you. This is Ocean East. The situation is hell. Complicated here way more dangerous than you think it is. The Chen family and Pu family would not let you go. When that time comes, you are all alone. What do you think you have to defeat the two magnates? In the Ocean East, how should Yidin calmly study at school? Just to play cool now, you ruined Yidin and her foster father life. I doubt that your presence would not be a good thing for Yidin. Zon replied to her, thank you for taking care of Yidin. 
But my power is beyond your imagination. There were guys. Walking in the street Shaw said to them, Boor. You are nothing but a boor. Zong while observing the condition was thinking that Wushuang has lived in such a place all these years. The sewage running across. And this is so dilapidated and tiny. Just like a slum. Yidan must have suffered a lot these years. Even the room inside is so tiny. Concrete floor. No floor heating, let alone air conditioning. They are utterly destitute. The little sister of Lord Zong, King of War, is living in such a place. Then his father said to him, Sorry, I did not have much money to offer a better place for Wushuang. She suffered a lot with me. Zong hold his father hands and said to him, Mr. Long, what are you talking about? I would not blame you. In face you are my great benefactor. I cannot thank you enough. Yidan said to her father and brother, come on, we all are family now. We have some hot water. Sorry that we do not have tea. Zon said to her sister, by the way, where is Mrs. Long? I did not see her. She replied to him, she died of illness eight years ago. Dad brought me up alone. In my heart, he is my real father. Zon said to her, I am here now. No one can bully you again or I will ruin his whole family. He was thinking that, a poo boy is, trying to get my sister. How dare he, I wonder if you can bear it when I vent my anger on you poo family. And that man who abandoned his wife and kids. I swear I will kill you for my mother. On next day Yidan, said to her father, Dad I will go visit our aunt with Zon. Be careful when you are alone at home. Then, he replied to her, I will just go greet your aunt for me. After Zon and Yidan gone to visit their aunt, their father was alone at home. Then there was knock at the door he opened the door and there were ruffians at the door. One of them moved forward and picked him from his clothes up and said to him, Fuck you loser, Long Dongqiang, when will you repay the five million? You borrowed from Eagle Usury. Long Dongqiang replied to him, Mr. G, does Mr. Lu know about this? Call him. I will talk to him in person. He began to thinking that, when I invested in the real estate business, I lost everything. So I borrowed 100,000 from them. However, it became 5 million in less than 3 years. Then the guy slapped on her face and said to him, What the hell? Who do you think you are? You think you can just meet Mr. Lu because you want to. There was ring on his mobile. He picked that up and that was phone of Mr. Lu, yeah, I am at Long Dongqiang place what? Okay, I will wait for you here, he said to Long, sucker, you want to meet Lu, right? He is coming be prepared for his anger. Then Long replied to him, hey, you better watch your language or you will suffer a lot after Mr. Lu comes. He again slapped at the face of Dongqiang and said to him, what is wrong with you today? How dare you talk to daddy like this? I should probably kill you before Lu comes. I do not want him to listen to your nonsense. Then Mr. Lu came and he said to Dongqiang to move and he said to Mr. Lu you are finally here. Dongqiang refused to repay and insisted on meeting you. Rest assured, I will teach him a good lesson. Then Lu slapped on the face of Ruffian and said to him, How dare you offend Mr. Long, you fool, what are you waiting for? Kneel and apologize to Mr. Long. Then a guy said to Lu, the priority is now to apologize to that man. I do not want to die yet. Then other guy got up and said, what the hell is going on? What is wrong with Mr. Lu? Did he take anything wrongly? Mr. Lu said to Dongqiang, Mr. Long, it is the contract you signed with us. I am sorry that I did not have time to read it carefully. I meant no interest, now I do not even want my principal back since we are good friends now. Take it as my small favor to you. While he pointing toward the guy that was fell down said, yet this brat changed our contract behind my back. He wanted to take five million from you. This is way too much he further said. I hate this kind of scam. You get your ass here and apologize to Mr. Long. Guy replied to Lu, am I dreaming? Since when did Mr. G become this shameless? Then another guy while putting high foot on his mouth said, Move you moron. 
apologize. Then he crawled and said to Dong Chiang, I am sorry Mr. Long, I was being stupid to offend you. Please do not take it to heart. While shivering Gai said, please spare me, Mr. Long replied to him, I have put up with him for a really long time. Now I can finally vent my rage. Lu said to Dong Chiang, it is for our yesterday lamb. Please take it. He was giving him two million dollar for that. Then Dong Chiang replied to them, I know you all came here for Zon, I cannot take these until Zon nods. Lu inquired to him, then where is Zon? Dong Chiang replied to him, at his aunt place. I will give you her address. Boss from the back said to Dong Chiang, thank you Mr. Long. But you have to accept the 20,000. It is for our meal and the furniture we broke. On the other side Zon and Yidan reached at the home of their aunt. There were children outside of the door they were forcing and saying to Guang, simpleton, go get the ball. Yidan after watching that he said to them, what are you doing? Then children began said to each other, let's go. We would not waste our time on a simpleton. Ha ha. Then a boy baby was standing there alone said to Yidan, I want candy. Then Yidan. Aid to Zon, this is Guang our aunt kid. Then she called out the baby toward him and said to him, Come on Guang, he is your cousin. Then Zon said to her, Why did Guang became like this? Where is his father? Then Yidan replied to him that, Our aunt noticed Guang mental deficiency soon after she gave birth to him. When Guang father knew that, he abandoned her and Guang, after her father, married a rich girl and joined her family as live in son-in-law. It has been ten years. He has never visited Guang and has never given them any alimony. Our aunt brought Guang to every hospital in our country and used up every penny she had. Yet nothing got better. She does not marry again in order to protect the kid. Zan said that, I did not like my aunt husband when I was young. I knew he was mean and would only curry favor with the rich. When mom brought Wushuang and me to Ocean East, she actually wanted to get some help from her sister. Yet our aunt husband reacted strongly against it. However I did not know that man could be a ruthless monster. He is another scambag who abandoned his wife and kids. After that they entered in the room of their aunt and Yidan in surprised mood said to her aunt. Look who it is. After watching the condition of house of her aunt Zon began to thinking that my aunt place is probably not much better than Wushuang. A woman rises her mentally retarded son alone. I can imagine how hard their life is. Then her aunt looked at them and said, Wushuang, she was coughing then. Wushuang moved forward and inquired to her, aunt, are you sick? Then she replied to him, I caught cold nothing serious, I will be fine in days. While looking toward Zon she said, and this is, then Zon replied to her, and I am Zon watching. Then she said to him, watching you, you are finally back. It has been ten years, I thought you were, never mind, you are back now, that is good enough, nothing, cheers me more than see you back safe and sound. Yidan said to her aunt, I remembered you lived in, villa, now that it was taken down, I thought the government would pay you five or six fancy apartments, why are you living in such a narrow place, then her aunt said that, I blame that monster, I have, supposed to have five houses, I could only hear with Guang, I basically used up my money to treat his disease, Zan said to her, but the house was under your name, how did that scum get it? That villa was an ancestral property, I assume it's worth at least 100 million inches her aunt said to him, her husband, married into the Pu family, which is the contractor of that estate. They worked together and easily took my property, I am sorry for your grandma, she gave that house to me, but that scum. Zan was thinking that Granny died years ago. Her family was actually rich before it decayed. But Granny gave my mom and aunt each a house. My mom was taken by the Chens. He said to his aunt, Do not get mad. I will handle this. Also, I will punish that scum and the Pooh family for you. There was knock at the door. There was a guy at door. His name was Jiadong. Yidan aunt said to him, Let me introduce you to each other. This is my nephew, Zhang Jiadong, and this is my sister's son, Zhang Wuching. He is Wushuang, 
Brother, Jiadong said to Zhang, Wushuang brother. Guess you just graduated, right? Where do you work now? He completely ignores him and said to her aunt, Is this apple sweet? Her aunt said to him, Jiadong is really nice to me. Jiadong was in full anger mood because Zhang completely ignored him. He said, New graduates are always like this. They can do nothing but act arrogantly. You gotta learn to be smart. I received two interns who looked just like you. I did not even know why they acted like they were the boss, but I knew they did not finish anything. Guess what? I fired them. I forgot to tell you that I am the HR manager of Tito Restaurant. For the sake of our aunt, I can arrange an interview for you. Come to my office tomorrow. We need a doorman. I am telling you, you have to start every career from down to the earth. Then Zan replied to him, I do not want to job there. Jiadong said to Zan, Tito Restaurant is the most famous restaurant here. Do you know how many people fight for the chance to work there? A hundred people will fight for the position I just mentioned. I am giving you a chance. Her aunt said to him, Zan you do not have a job, right? I know you just returned. Maybe you should try. Zan replied to her, no need, I went there days ago. Then Jiadong while hearing that statement said to Zan, went there. Oh, got it, you loser did not get the job. Are you seriously this weak? Giving up just because you are rejected once. I did all the job I could when I just graduated. That is why I am who I am now. Zan gave a glass of water to his aunt. Zan completely ignored Jiadong. He said to Zan, screw you. You are totally deaf. Then there was knock at the door and there was cousin Jiayong. His name was Zhang Jiaqi. He said to Jiayong, you got visitors here. The aunt of Zan said to Zhang Jiaqi, who allowed you in? Get out. Then Yidan said to her brother that, this person is Zhang Jiaqi, younger cousin of Jiayong, a hooligans. He has been trying to steal our aunt house. He came here quite often, bullying Guang and our aunt. They too could not even fight back. Zhang Jiaqi said, Aunt, today you have to give this house to me, she replied to him, in your dreams. Get lost. He replied to her, I was being polite, you know. I could just wait for a few more days. Look at you, I assume you will die really soon. Or you think your idiot son can stop me? You should just a nice person and give this to me. Wang said to Jiaqi, you scoundrel, get out. You are a scoundrel come here. Jiaqi slapped on his face and he fall down. He started weeping and yelling. Yidan moved forward and got him up and said to him, Wang, it is okay. I am here to protect you. On the other hand Jiaqiang said to Zhang, you do not want to say anything now. What a wuss. Jiaqiang said to his cousin, Zhang, do not act like a ruffian. Get out of here, he slapped on the face of Jiaqiang and said to him, who do you think you are? Trying to play cool, huh? I do not kick your ass because you are my cousin. Remember this, or you have already been dead. He fall down and steeped back. Then Zan stood up in the front of Jiaqi. Jiaqi said to him, get out of my way, moron. Then Zan said to him did, some moron just say anything. Jiaqi said to him, do, I said you, fuck you, you asked for this, then. Zan hit him on his leg and said to him, go buy some medicine, kneel outside of the door, and beg for mercy. This is your only chance. Then Jiaqi pulled out a knife and said to Zan, fuck you. Go to hell. Her aunt said to him, watch out. She began to thinking that Zan is being stupid. He should not play cool. Now, I know my way of living my life sucks, but at least I am still alive. Jiayang said to aunt, I, he really, needs to be smarter. On the other Jiaqi fall down and said to Zan, how dare you. This old bitch should, thank me, for I want her house. Then again there was slap by Zan on the face of Jiaqi. Jiaqi said to Zan, just wait I will call someone, and you will be dead soon. Then Jiayang said, wait, what just happened? He kicked that brat ass. Then Zan said to him, I think you should live with your sister, Jiaqi will gather people to take revenge on you. Leave now or it will be too late. Zan replied to her, do not worry. I will 
handle it no matter how many people he gathers. Then Jia Young said to Zhang, You moron, you can fight. But you are on your own. Got it, you stand no chance of winning. I thought I could get you a job in Tito. Restaurant, but I have changed my mind now. You are like a reckless gorilla. That job is too good for you. Let me give you a tip for the sake of your aunt. Zhang Jackie has a lot of hooligans friends. Some idiots offended him just as you did. They got their legs broken and were thrown of the bridge. Zong completely ignored him and said to his aunt, and I will get your house and money back in three days. Jia Young began to laughing. He said to Zong, kid you know what you are talking about. Dragon's estate belongs to Pu family, the most powerful family in the ocean east. And you said you would get those houses and money back from them. Do you live in the real world? They can easily crush you. Guang was standing alone there was brick from outside and hit on his head, he fall down and began to weeping. There was Zhang Jackie outside the house he said to Zhang, I am back get out now, otherwise you will be fucked up, Yidan said to her brother. Zhang, go teach them a good lesson. They have gone too far. He said to her stay here. He made a heroic entry in the front of Zhang Jiaqi gang. Jiaqi said to his boss, boss this is the boy I told you about go teach him lesson please jachi said to zong what are you waiting for come here mister bao wants to see who the hell is messing around in his place mister bao said i want to kneel next to the trash bin i do not want to ruin my schedule he said to his partner we have beaten up quite a lot of people like him count him lucky he now just needs to kneel i am here for something important we will welcome a big short here. So compose yourself be prepared. He further said to him, boss is on the way here. I cannot let these bustard ruin this. Then, Jachi said to Zong, are you deaf? Mr. Bao told you to kneel next to the trash bin. Cannot you hear, or you do not know where you belong? Zong said to him, who threw that brick? Then Bao partner moved forward and said to Zong, you ignored Mr. Bao order and made a question. Guess there is someone you really miss in hell. Then, Jachi said, Oh, someone a fighter, go, all of you cut him into pieces. Then they moved forward and started fighting with Zon. Zon beat them very hard. They fall down in the front of Zon. Then again he said to Jachi, who threw that brick? Jachi said to Bao, Mr. Bao he is totally crazy. He is ignoring you. Jachi said to Zong, boy you can fight. Bao said to his partners, go ruin him. His aunt said that they have so many people, Zong will be fine. Then Jiadong said to her, alas, you should have taken my advice. Nobody will mess around with Bao in this place, unless he is seeking death. There was fight between them. He grabs the hand of one of them. While watching all of these conditions Mr. Bao said, what? Is this even possible? It cannot be true. Zon said to Bao, let me ask you again, who threw that brick? Mr. Bao said to Jiaqi, ahem, it has nothing to do with me. Then Zon moved forward and slapped on the face of Jiaqi. He fall down. Zon said to Bao, are you want me to kneel? Repeat it please. Bao said to him, ahem, it is just a misunderstanding. There was ringing of phone of Bao and there was voice from the phone, are you prepared the big shot is? Almost there. Bao said boss, I need you here. Emergency. Someone is messing with us. Then boss replied to him, what who is that? Messing with us, I am on the way to pulling his guts out. Bao said to Zon, brat, my boss. The one who rules Ocean East will be here in a minute to welcome a big shot. Well, I am offering you a job now since you really can fight. Wanna work for me, huh? And I will forget, everything happened today. Then Zon smashed on the face of Bao, and said to him, I do not think so. When your boss arrives, tell me to kneel here and apologize. Bao said to him, huh, you are insisting. Enjoy your moment, because you are gonna die after my boss comes. Then Jiadong listening all of these things from Bao said to Zon aunt, what? I know that man, Mr. Jin. Basically everyone here does. He is 
Wang Shanya cousin and Wang is the manager of Tito Restaurant. Tito Restaurant belongs to Chen. Family. The head of their family Chen Badao is the best fighter. No one will provoke him. So Mr. Jin can be seen as one of the Chens. You hurt his man. I guess no one can save your ass now. Then Zan Ant said, What should be do? Jiadong, your work there. Can you help? We really want to fix this problem. I do not want anyone to get hurt. Then Jiadong said to her, Well, I will give it try for your sake. He called someone on his phone and said to him, I am Jiadong. There is one thing I need your help. Can you help? After call was ended there was sigh of relief from Jiadong. Then he said to Zan Ant, My boss said he could help. He said you have to go downstairs to kneel and apologize to Mr. Jin and Bao. And he will speak for you on the phone. This may save you ass. And this is literally all I can do now. What are you waiting for? Let go downstairs. Are you waiting for Jin and Bao to come upstairs? There was Zan sitting at the chair replied to him. I told Bao that Jin can kneel and apologize to me when he comes. Then, Jiadong in surprised mood said, What? This is unbelievable. You are hopelessly cocky. Jiadong said to his aunt, You see this? I helped but he chose to die himself. It is all his fault. Are you jinxed for he is your nephew? Then Jiadong in anger mood said, He wanted me to kneel outside there and apologize to him. Then there was a rival of boss he kicked the door said, Let me who is the bustard that wants me to kneel. Who the hell said he wanted me to kneel? Come to me now. Jiadong said to him, Not me, he is inside there. Then Bao moved forward Zan said to him, Kneel downstairs to apologize. Who said you could come upstairs? Bao replied to him, What the hell? When the hell will you stop playing cool? Bao said to Mr. Jin, this is that guy. He is hell cocky. Let chop him up and feed him to dogs. Boss while watching Zon there kicked on the mouth of Bao. Bao said to boss, why did you hit me? I did not do anything. It is this bustard. Boss said to Bao, what the fuck did you say? Zon is the big shot we are welcoming. You would better your mouth. Chop him up. You will be chopped really soon. Bao began to thinking that so he is the one who broke Jin and Ji army yesterday. What have I done? Then Bao got up, and hold Zhang from his hair and said, It is all your fault. You offended Zan. Bao fall down in the front of Zan and said to him, Sorry, I was being stupid. Please show some mercy. Spare me this time. Then, Jin moved forward and said to Zan, Mr. Zan, we too prepared 10 million for you. Please take this. Take it AAS compensation. I know you must be a very good person. Spare us please. While watching all of that things Jiadong began to thinking that they kneeled. What? And 10 million. I only earn 10 thousand a month. I would not have 10 million in my life. Then Zan said to Jin, kneel downstairs to apologize. I told you right. Jin said to him, right, right, we will be there right now. Then while sitting. Together at the food table Zan said to his sister, I will divide the ten million into two parts one for Mr. Long and one for aunt. What do you think? His aunt replied to him Zan this is too much. Then Yidin to her aunt. Aunt you have to take it Zan wants to look after you. You can use this to treat Wang now. While on other hand Mr. Long said, fine I will take it. Bringing up a child is a tough job. But Yidin is also taking care of me. She is a good girl. She brought me happiness. Money cannot buy love. I will use five million to bob up like a cork. He began to thinking that, back then, I lost everything in my business. Because I wrongly trusted others. People all mocked me, but I never looked down upon myself. He said to, Zon, I will pay back you in three years. Then Zon replied to him, Mr. Long I have faith in you. There was ringing on the phone of Zan and there was voice that, you ruined my night, then Zan replied to him, you are Mr. Pu, then Pu replied to him, oh, you know my name, so why did you work against me, be a good dog and send Yidin to me, otherwise I will kill all your family, Zan said to him, when, Pu replied to Zan, you are a smart dog, you know good, 
Then twelve o'clock tomorrow at Astraeus Club. If you stand me up, you will be fucked up. Then security guard at the back of Pu said to him, Mr. Pu you do not have to call this rat in person at all. He does not deserve to answer your call. I can go fuck him up with our men and bring that chick back for you. Mr. Pu said, I have not met such an interesting dog for so long. I want to see who capable he is. On the other hand there was a guy at the door he has salary of. Zon and for the management company. She came downstairs to get her salary. But there were only 840 instead of $1050. She said to him why you deduct $210. He replied to her, you called in. Sick for three days. That is why I deducted the money. You did not work during the three days, are you expecting? Me to pay you for not working. Then there was a girl along that guy she said to Zon Ant, you are always sick, you should then us for not firing you, one more word, and you will be fired. Then Zon Ant, replied to her, according to company regulations, I will not get deducted when I take sick leave also you do not deduct the money, you deducted the double money. Then that girl replied to her, bitch, are you suggesting that I took your money? Sue me if you have balls. I do not care. I have my background. How about this? You are fired now. Then Ant replied to her. You are totally a bully. Then Guy said to Ant. Just take the money and do your job. You are a poor bustard so be a good poor bustard. Then Zon moved from the back and said to that guy. Deduct their money to get your own wallet loaded. You are the kind of person I hate the most. Then Guy in anger mood said. Who the hell is talking behind my back? Come out. Then he saw Zon and said to him, Oh Long Dongxiang, this brat must be your relative. Right. He smiles the same as you, poor. A bunch of poor bustard. Get the fuck of here. Then Mr. G moved forward and slapped at the face of Guy and said to him, Shut your stinky mouth up. I am fucking sick of your tone. G said to Zon, Mr. Zon, we were kneeling over there. But when I heard him, I was so mad that I had to come and teach him a lesson. Then girl that standing along that guy said to Mr. G, who the fuck are you? Do you know who he is? Then he also slapped on her face. Guy said, Mr. G, what brought you here? Then girl said, what he is Mr. G, the major shareholder. Mr. G replied to her, yeah, I fucking am. I would not have known you deducted their wages if I were not here. We cleaning, ladies 2500 a month, and you just take half of their wages. How dare you, G said to Zong, how do you, think we should punish this couple? Then Guy started saying that Mr. Zong, I am sorry, please do not, hurt me, I mean for the sake of Mr. G, Guy got up and then Mr. G again punched down him, Mr. Zong said to Guy, for his sake, you are wrong if you think he means anything to me, Mr. G said to Zon, right, right I am just Mr. Zon dog, I mean nothing to him, and I cannot make decision for him, Zon, said to his aunt, and what do you think, then suddenly Guy moved forward and said to aunt, I was, stupid please, give me a second chance, we worked together, aunt replied to Zon, well, they will be, punished according to the company regulations. Then Mr. G said, okay, they have deducted your wages, and embezzled others' property. They are suspected of criminal offenses, I will send these two people to police station now. On the other hand Zooting father was saying to him, how is the investigation going? Where did that young man come from? And where he is now? Ever he disputed the engagement at Tito. Restaurant. The relationship between Wen family and us has completely broken down. Shang Guan Nalan will soon come back from abroad. And so will Chen Badao. They would not spare you. And those old foes could come at any time. It just makes it worse. The only man who can help us is that young man. She was busy in the phone and said to her father, Please have a look at this photo. He said yes this is Sha Chun Yu Tomb. He is Sha Chun Yu's son. Zon watching. She said to her father, no wonder he went there and said he wanted to meet Shangguan Nalan. He was going to avenge his mother. Her father said to him, very good, 
so he is definitely gonna take our side, she said to her father, but I have one question, Wu Qing must have recognized us, but he did not tell us when he saved us three years ago, why, and we, met again at that engagement party, still, he said nothing, he said to her daughter, you saw how, Wu Qing is now, he can easily crush Mogan and Xifeng life, he must have experienced a lot during the ten, years of his disappearance, I think he has his reason, maybe he did not say anything he wanted to, protect us, with his current status, I bet he knows a lot of people and has a lot of foes, maybe he will be, targeted one day, and we will get involved, you really care about him, do not tell me you fall me in love, with him, ha <laughs> ha, you are now Zan Wushuang teacher, you can ask her about her brother, Wushuang, may be a good helper, she said to her father, Dad, what are you taking about? I am gonna talk about love with you. There was a Chen palace. There was a guy who was saying, Mom avenge, Shangguan. Nalan was saying to him, that bitch Sha Chunyu, still causing me trouble even though she is dead now. I should have killed her kids. If I did, that bustard would not have been there. He thought he could to me, to avenge his mother since he knocked off Mogan and Xifeng Lai. Impossible one, I am Shibuan Nalan, and the Wen family, I did not expect them to know that bustard, I swear I will make them pay, there, was Chen Duong he said, Nalan, she said to him, uncle, what is wrong, she was thinking that, Chen Duong is always embarrassing me, thinking he was the patriarch, always trying to make the decision for me and judge me, it is a great humiliation, fuck this old bustard, Chen Duong said to her, Nalan, you did a lot of unforgivable thing to Sha Chunyu. She died in misery. They told me that Xifeng. Lai yielded and kneeled without putting up a struggle. I have known him for years and he has never been. Such a coward. Obviously, he knew the other family was too strong. He should not be provoking him. I told you that once that we had to keep a low profile and a cautions. Look what you have done. Sewing. Off all the time. It is you who spoiled heading or he would not have become like this. Shang Guan Nalan, slapped on his face and he fall down. She said to him, what else can you do besides criticizing when you once knew no better yourself? I would have killed you if you were not an elder of the family. Chen, De Wang said to her, how dare are you slap me? Are you out of your mind? He ordered his guards to take that bitch down. They were still motionless. Chen said to them, did not you hear me? Are you? Fucking deaf, Shangguan Nalan said to him, who do you think you are? I called you uncle because I was being polite and when I do not want to be polite, you are no more than an old bitch, she said to his guards, get off your high horse, they will only listen my order now, you two take this fucking down, she said to Chen De Wang. I have waited you for a long time, you were always patronizing me just because you were older than me. Chen De Wang said to her, how dare you? She again slapped on his face and said to him, my son and my sister become like this because of that bastard. Instead of avenging them, you want to teach me a lesson. I did not listen to you. You coward, you do not belong to the Chen family. He replied to her, I was the patriarch and I am Badao uncle. What is wrong with me? Teaching you a lesson. Then she showed him a pistol and said to him, I told you I had enough. Now, you can finally shut up. She said to a guard, has Elder Zhang finished the closed training? He replied to her, he will come out next week. She said, fine, that bastard can have one more week. She further said, Zan, I do not care where you were in your ten years of disappearance. Since you are back to revenge on me, the only thing that will embrace you is death. On the other hand Zan was saying to her, Sister, if anyone in your school bullies you have to tell me. Okay, she replied to him, no one will do that, since you are here with me. By the way you are old enough, Zan, you should think about getting married. I am looking forward to having a sister-in-law. He said to her, as a teen girl, you should focus on studying. Stop thinking about setting me up with someone. She said to him, come on, that is because, I care about you also should care more about yourself, there was a guard who said to Zan, she is right, 
I cannot agree more with her. Zan said to him. I thought you should be guarding the grave. You deserted his post again, did not you? Then guard said to him, Boss, we have sent tons of people to guard the grave. If anyone goes there to run riot, he must be stupid. Guard said to Eden, My job is to guard you day and night. You must be right. I am Tank. You can call me Uncle Tank. I have been working for your brother for years. Take this. It is my gift to you. Then Zong punched on his face and said to him, She is my sister and you told her to call you uncle, are you freaking serious? Then Tank said to Eden, Sorry I forgot that just call me Tank, it will make me sound younger. I look old, right? But I am actually, only 25, by the way do you have a boyfriend? Again Zon punched in guard face and said to him, I will. Beat you up if you dare to say it again. Yidan said to Tank, I even thought you were more than 40 years old, haha. Ha. Then both Zon and his guard sat in the car while driving the car Tank said to Zon, Boss, I bought a villa for you in sea in mountain villa area. You need a place to live, since you just come back. Zon said to Tank, You should follow me and wait for my order these days. Tank said, Yes, boss, on the other hand Yidan reached school and her friend said to her, Yidan, class teacher wants to talk to you. Then Yidan came toward to Ms. Wen and said to her, Are you are looking for me? Ms. Wen was imagining that, after I graduated from college, I came to this high school to be a teacher perhaps. Because I was influenced by my father, I recognized Zan on the first day I came here and became her class teacher. On the other hand Yidan was thinking that, why does Ms. looking at me like this? Is here anything wrong on my face? Suddenly Ms. Wen said to Yidan, where is your brother? Yidan said to her, did you know my brother is back? She said yes, I want to see him. Yidan said to Ms. Wen, oh, I see, you still have a crush on my brother. You and he grew up together. Then Yidan started imagining that Ms. Wen has been nice to me all these years and kept the secret for me. I also regard to her as my big sister. It will be better if she becomes my sister-in-law. Then Ms. Wen said to Yidan, naughty girl, you cannot tease your teacher. Tell me where he is. She said to her teacher, Of course, I will tell. You, or you cannot be together with him. Then there was a rival of teacher son he said hello Ms. Wen. Yidan said to Ms. Wen, I have to go. Then Mr. Sun said to Yidan, I heard at the door that your brother wants to chase Ms. Wen. Is that true? Then Ms. Wen interrupted them and said to Mr. Sun, Mr. You, have misheard, Ms. Wen said to Yidan, you have to go back to the classroom, she said yes Ms. Wen, on the other Mr. Sun said to Zuding, let go to watch the movie on Sunday night. It is so famous, I tried, too hard to get two tickets, I will pick you up at night, she said to him, sorry, I do not have time, then Mr. Sun said to her, you have refused me so many times, I am so sincere, why do you refuse me so firmly? Is that because of Yidan brother? Ms. Wen replied to him, It is my own business, not yours. Please get out and do not disturb my work. Then Ms. Sun in anger mood began to thinking that, Damn it, Yidan. You are just a student. You should help your brother chase my girl. I must teach you a lesson. Then Yidan, friend said to her, I heard that Zhao Zichi will make trouble for you after class. She is so famous for her. Rudeness at school and her cousin is a gangster. You should be careful. Yidan said to her, Really? Let her come. Her friend said to him, Zhao Zichi is so bad. She is jealous for your beauty and good grades. She makes trouble for you from time to time. You must endure this all the time. When will she stop this? Then Yidan said to her, She has to stop this today. I have endured her for so many days. And I would not endure her any more. I am not afraid of anything because my brother is back. Then her friend said to her, What? Did you say you would not endure her anymore? There were Mr. G and his friends outside the school. Mr. G said, School is over, do not worry. I have warned everyone. Nobody dare to hurt that girl. In this area, or they will die. 
We come here to show our sincerity to Mr. Zong. He well know we are working hard for him, but we still have to be careful. I do not want my hand to be cut. Mr. Sun was also there he said to them, Nice to meet you, sir I am the pay teacher, son it is great to have strong security. Guards like you at this school. It is great honor for the school to show my respect, I will invite you to dinner tonight. How about that? Sun had the cigarettes pack in his hand he started thinking that, I do not know why the two big shorts come here, but I would not miss such a good opportunity to make friends with them. He offered cigarettes to them. Mr. G said to him, we do not have the time to have dinner with you. We are ordered to guard someone here. Mr. Sun said to Ji why not ask him to join us. I like making friends. Mr. Sun said to him, that, the person who can orders them must be more powerful than them. Zooting will change her attitude toward me if I can make friends with that person. Ji said to him, who the hell are you? You are not qualified to have dinner with him. What a stupid guy. You should have clear understanding of yourself. Get out I am working. On the other hand there were Zhao Zichi with her gang. She said to Yidan, you cannot go anywhere. Yidan friend to Zhao, you brought so many men to bully Yidan. It is so rude. Then Zhao replied to her, you have no right to speak. Yidan said to Zhao, let her go. I am your target. Zhao replied to her, yo, look at this bluffing girl. I even wonder if you really have a strong background. Yidan replied to her, you know what, you are not my target, but my cousin is, then. Suddenly Yidan was kidnapped. Yidan said to Mr. Sun, no, son, please help us. He replied to her, why? Are you in such a hurry? You may annoy the two respected bosses. I will talk to you later. She said to Sun, Mr. Sun, Yidan was kidnapped. He replied to her, what are you talking about? It is a fight, not kidnapped. You will be expelled if you spread rumors. She said to him, Son, I am telling the truth. I am just the witness. Then Mr. Sun said to her, Get out. I do not have time to listen to your nonsense. She again appealed to him, Mr. Sun please help Yidan. Please hurry. She was really kidnapped by those bad guys. Then there was a rival of Mr. G and inquired to her, What did you say? Who was kidnapped? She replied to him, Yidan has been kidnapped, a student of class 3 grade 1. They said, what, Mr. Sun said, to Mr. G, sir, please do not listen to her, nobody dares to kidnap a student at school in the broad day. Light, let talk about the dinner, would you have dinner with me, he slapped on the face of Mr. G and, said to him, do not waste our time, why is there such a disgusting teacher in this school? Mr. G said to Yidan's sister, please talk us there, little girl, she pointed toward Zhao and said to G, she asked her cousin to kidnap Yidan, G said to Zhao, where is she, she replied to her, damn, how dare you bark at me, he slapped on her face and she fall down, and she said to him, you slapped me, you will die in this alley, she said to her guards, what are you waiting for, catch him. One of the guards from her back, moved forward and whispered in her ear, she said, what? Then she moved forward and said to G, I am. Sorry Mr. G, I do not recognize you, again G said to her, where is the girl? G began to thinking that, Jin, and me will die if Yidan get hurts, then Zhao replied to G, my cousin, Yu Li Ji, took her away, I do not know where she is, that is all I know, please let me go. One of Guy of G Gang said, You Liji, that bustard. How dare he do that? I will cut his hands. He was dialing on his phone and no was answering. Mr. G said to Guy, This is getting weird, you sent orders. You Liji must know how vital that girl is. Instead of protecting her, he kidnapped her. He betrayed us because someone else was backing him up. Then Guy said to Mr. G, I know his hideouts we will search one by one to find him. On the other hand Zanen, his guard tank reached at the villa. Tank said to Zhao, boss, it is all done, now the number one villa, with the best view is yours. Finally a residence in the ocean east, 
Not as good as the mansion in Long City, but it is good enough. He said to Zhao, this is jacket is from the black suits. Then Zhao said to him, yeah, black suits sent some clothes, so I took some, it looks kinda cool. Especially this one for you is the coolest. He further said to him, let go. It is time to meet with that mister. Pu. Then both they sat in the car and moved toward Pu. While observing the car speed one of the security guards of Mr. Pu said, Who, the fuck is that, driving like a swag, are they crazy, this is Astraeus Club, one of the Pu family property. Then a guy heed toward the car and said to Zhao and Tank, are you fucking blind? Do you know where, you are, get out of here. Then another guy whose name was Wang moved forward and said to him, I will go talk to them, please stop here. He moved toward the car and said to them, Hey, you savage. You are never been to fancy places. This is not where you can park your car. Now if you hear me, moved away with your stupid car. Then Zon popped his head out from the car with a logo in his hand and said, To Wong, can you throw it in the trash for me, please? Then Wong in anger mood replied to him, What? The hell, are you fucking insane? Do you know what you said? Get out of your fucking car. Kneel and apologize to me, or I swear you will be screwed. Again Zon said to him, this is logo, please throw it. In the trash, Wong said, this is the logo of black suits, it is one of the mysterious organization in the Wa kingdom. It possesses terrifying forces and no one dare to provoke them. Rumor has it that the member of the black suits are basically active in Long City and they are involved in major and important events related to national interests. He said to other guy, but why they are here, guy moved forward. And said to Zong, you bastard. Do you have any idea about what you have done? Get out of your car. Kneel to Mr. Wong and say you are sorry. While on other hand Wong slapped on the face of that guy. And said to him, what the hell do you know? You kneel and apologize to this sir. Then Wong kneel in, the front of Zong and said to him, sorry. I did not recognize you. It is all my fault. Please spare my life. Then Zon said to him, Okay, I am just asking for a favor. Oh, all right it is okay for me to park my car here. He said to Wang, Take me to Mr. Pu. On the other hand Pu was sitting at the sofa. He was punishing a guy and his bodyguard said to him, Here, he is shall we start now. Pu ordered to all of his security. Guards, no rush, I want to enjoy my tea. A guy said to Pooh, Mr. You are like a master in tea, other guy. Said to Pooh, this brat is brainless. He had the balls to challenge you. He chose his own death. With your power you can totally beat everyone in Ocean East up. We all will listen to you in future. Then guard, behind Pooh ordered to other guard, chop this guy up and feed him to the dog. Then Pooh sassed, well I have. Not meet any interesting guest for a while. Then Zon and his guard came there, while watching them. Pu said, which one of you is Yidan brother? Zon said, me, Pu replied to him, well, you seem like a rookie, and I have killed a lot of rookies. Ha ha, I think the other one looks stronger, but I am always a merciful man. How about this, you kneel and be my dog, then I think I may spare you. What do you think? Zon completely ignored him and said to his security guard, suddenly I feel a little thirsty, then. Tang said to Pu, hear that, get my boss some tea, and you would better get us some of your best tea, leaves. Then Pu replied to him, guess I have to kick you ass to remind you of who you are taking to. Then guard behind Pu moved for attack and said to Zon, you ordered for a tea. You can enjoy some, beer first. Then on other hand tank guard of Zon moved forward and with his first punch guard of Pu fall. Down. Tank said to him, you attack like a baby. Then Pu said to them, interesting, guess you two are. Tough nuts to crack. He ordered his security guards to fight with Zon and tank. And he said to them, finish them off in 30 seconds. Then a guard said to Pu, boss, allow me. Then tank hold him on his throat. There was a great fight between them. On the other hand Zon while enjoying the tea said, Your tea is good, but not good enough. Actually, I do not think you really know tea now. Then Pu replied to him, Yes, I do not know tea. You are to say that. 
My friend has been running a tea business for years. His leaves cost 100,000 per pound. Are you saying that he lied to me? Do you know anything about tea? Then Zan said to Pu, Okay, let's talk about tea. Look at the color it's supposed to be. Softer and the taste well. It is supposed to be smoother with some natural scent. Yet your tea looks just green, and it has a grassy scent, and it also tastes lighter than it should. It is because your tea produced earlier so some black-hearted businessmen will see it at a high price, saying it is the best. Their target customer is you, who know nothing about tea and have proud yourself for being a moron. This kind of tea only cost 100 per pound, and you just called yourself a master. How funny. Then in anger Pooh said, fuck. That fucking bastard tricked me. How would people look at me if they knew about this? Then Zon further said to Pooh, it is not even good among all those inferior quality products. Not fragrant nor deep it. Does not have the layered taste and it is just too flat. While Pooh was completely silenced, Zon said to him, what a tea master. Ha ha. Then in anger mood Pooh said to him, are you fucking done showing off? So what if you know a lot about tea? I will kill you and nobody will know what happened today. On the other hand Tank completely finished guards of Ku. And he said to Zon, Boss, they are too weak. I do. Not even go half out. Then Ku asked to Tank, What did you do? On the other hand Zon said to Pu, So, you do not have any good tea to entertain me. I could be kinder if you entertained me with good tea. You know but you failed me. Then Ku said to him, Too soon, brat. You are in the Astraeus Club, my place. You really think you can act wildly, and nobody will beat you up. Then his guards began to laughing. On the other hand Wang was rushing toward Pu. But security guards and door did not let him to go. They said him to wait. But he wildly moved toward Pu. While watching Wang in that condition Pu said to him, Do not act like a little girl. Then Wang said to Pu, Mr. Pu I do not think we should offend. The two they are. Then Pu slapped on the face of Wang and said to him, You really think there is someone in the ocean east that should not offend. I will now kill both of them. Then another said to Pu, No, wait, they are. While interrupting him Pu said, No, I will kill them even if they are some presidents. Then Pu slapped on his face and said to him, How dare you praise him and belittle us. Then he ordered his guards to kill both Zan and Tank. On the other hand Zan was sitting in calm said to his guard, You are too loud. Finish them outside. Then Tank said, Copy that. There was clash outside while inside the room Pu and Zan were talking to each other. Pu said to Zan, You stop playing cool, I am sure you are planning your funeral in your mind. Then Zan said to him, You suck, and your tea sucks as well. But, you may want to take more tea since you are not be able to drink anything soon. Then he poured tea in a cup for Pu. Then two minutes later Tank opened the door. Pu while watching outside the room was utterly surprised because he saw that all of his guards were killed by Tank. Pu said to Zong, there were over a 100 men and he just beat them all up. Seriously. Then Zong said to Pu, what else do you have bring it? All on. It will be your last effort, anyway. Then Tank punched to Pu and he fall down. Tank said to Zon, a bunch of losers boss. Do not waste your time on him. Let me just finish him off. Then Pu said to Zon, hold on, I have that girl, remember. You sure you want to kill me? Then Zon said to him, what did you say? How could I believe that Jin and Ji were capable to protect her? Then Pu said to him, you do not believe me. I will make a call and let you hear her, hello. You Liji, I am Pu, I want to hear that chick. Then was reply on the phone from Jin that, Mr. Pu I am Jin sorry that Liji cannot answer you. He died, in a car accident just dot you will never him talking again. The Pu replied to Jin, you fucking bastard ruined. My plan, believe it or not, I will soon put your guts out. Then slapped on the face of Pu and took. Phone from him and said to Jin, I want to hear Yidan, then there was voice of Yidan she said to Zon. Brother I am fine now. Jin and Ji saved me, after that Zon said to Pu, what else do you have? Then Pu said to him, who on the earth are you? 
Then a guy that was standing along the pool said to him, Sir they belong to black suits. Then in surprised mood Pooh said, What? Why did not you tell me first? Did you plan to watch me die? Then Zon said to Tank, Take Pooh with us, then they take Pooh in mysterious place and Zon said to Pooh, Enjoy the view Pooh, you do not have much time left. Then Pooh said to him, Sir, I really do not know Yidin is your little sister. I thought she was just a schoolgirl, he kneeled down in the front of Zon and said to him, if I had known that, I would not have touched her if you had a gun to my head. Then Zon said to him, so it will be okay if it is just a schoolgirl. You can whatever you want, and nobody will blame you. Then Zon punched on the face of Pooh and said to him, 100,000 solider. Guarded our border with their lives. Some of them will never see their family again. They died guarding the Wa kingdom, and you living in the kingdom that they guard. Insulted people and break laws. Is it really okay? Zon began to beating him. Then Pooh said to him, Please, I am the only boy in the Pooh family. You cannot kill me. My family will do everything for you to keep me alive. Then Zon said to him, Keep you alive. Good. Call your father. On the other hand at the Pooh family the Pooh patriarch was standing. There, today was his birthday. A guy was saying to him, Happy birthday patriarch Pooh. All people around, was saying to him, we all wish you a happy birthday, Patriarch Pooh. Then he replied to them, thank, you. Then a guy arrived there he was saying sir. Then Pooh Patriarch said to him, do not panic. Just say it. He said to him someone had kidnapped Mr. Pooh. Then a lady was there she said, what? How dare, someone kidnap young heir of the Pooh family. And it is Pooh Zhendong's 60th birthday. It is slap in the face. If Zhendong loses his temper, the whole ocean east will tremble. The Zhendong was thinking, who did that? Then there was call on the phone of Zhendong a guy was giving mobile to him and saying to him, we do not know who that person exactly is. He wants you on the phone. Then Zhendong said to him, tell me that I do not want to kill anyone since it is my 60th birthday today. Send him card and let forget this. Then another guy arrived there and said to Zhendong, Patriarch Pu, you are so tolerant, I have to say I really do respect you. There were two other boys around Patriarch Pu one of them was saying to him, it is that bastard honor to have your card. Then other guy said to him, everyone knows. Your card is an omnipotent pass card in the ocean east. He can do anything he wants with that card. They started talking to each other. Yeah, even the Chen family and the Shangguan family have to bow in the front of that card. Why did he have to be a kidnapped for this card? What a rat. I hate this kind of person the most. On the other hand there was voice from the phone. Do not worry Mr. Pu you will soon be released for the sake of our patriarch. Then Pu said on the phone to other guy, tell my dad that this person is too powerful. We should be messing up with him. Get my dad here to apologize to him. I may stand a chance of survival if we give him half of our property. Then there was reply from the other side of phone. Do not worry. No matter who the kidnappers are, they are at our place. They have to listen to the alpha here. You will be fine. Just relax. Then again Pooh said to him, no wait. Do not mess up with them. Then Zon snatched the phone from the Pooh and said to the guy that was on the other side of phone, I will wait for your patriarch. Then there was reply to Zon from the phone, kid, tell where you are, are, patriarch is tolerant, he is giving you a chance, you will get a card, and after you get it, release, our child and get the hell out of Ocean East. Then Zon replied to him, a card, like his card is, something to me. Since he want to play this stupid, I will play the game with him. Then Zon cut down the phone with anger, and also cut down right half arm of Pooh, and ordered to Tang to send that arm to Patriarch Pooh. He said to him, yes boss, on the other hand a guy was saying to Patriarch Pooh, I would kill that brat if it were not for the fact that today was your birthday. I guess those kidnappers will be overjoyed when they will get card. Then Patriarch Pooh said, well, just some young stupid boys I am. Always a kind person, I would not resort to force unless it is necessary.
Then a guy said to him, you are the real hero. Fix the problem without using force. I swear no one else in Ocean East is capable of doing this. Then another guy said to Patriarch, what a big heart you have. Then a guy from the back of Patriarch Pooh run toward him with a box in his hand and said to him, bad news, Patriarch said to him. What? He said to kidnappers sent this. I think we should open in the private. Then Patriarch said to him. It is okay. We do not have to hide anything. Then a guy s said to him. I bet that kidnapper is shaken and wants to come here to apologize to Patriarch Pooh. Then another guy said to him. But it is too late to apologize now. Yeah. Not gone to happen. He should be beaten up. Then Patriarch said to him. Get that guy here. I would like to talk to him. Then guy replied to Patriarch, he is not here. He has just sent this to us. Then Patriarch who ordered him to open that box. Then guy opened the box and there was half. Cut arm of Mr. Pooh. Patriarch while watching that said, this is Pengfei. Then there was call on the phone. Of Patriarch Zon was saying to him, Zhendong, wait for me to your office tomorrow at noon. I will go to you and paralyze your son in front of you. Then Patriarch replied to him, Good. I will wait for you, after. The call has been ended. Patriarch said to a guy, Who the fuck has the has the balls to hurt my son in? Front of me. Then guy said to him, This bastard has gone too far. I would love to kick his ass for you, I. Will kill him on his way there to vent your anger. Patriarch said, Keep one alive. I want to know who is. Behind this. On the other hand Tank was pouncing on the lamb. And Mr. Long was saying that, thanks. Goodness that Yeadon is back safe and sound. I was frightened Zon, thank you. Or it would be impossible. To get her back from the pus. A toast to you. Then Zon said to his sister, rest assured. No one will be. Able to bully you again because I will be here with you. Then there were two girls in the hotel who were. Watching at Tank they were saying to each other, wow. He is such a foodie. He ate five of them already. The father of Zon also said to him, Zon, your friend has a good appetite. Zon said to him, when we were guarding the borders, Tank ate like a horse. But one time when he led 1,000 solider out, they can only brought food for three days. At that time, they were sieged by enemies. They were forced to retreat into a civil fort to save more food for his solider. Tank ate nothing in those six days and he had to lead his solider to fight against the enemies. When I arrived there with reinforcements there were only less than 20 people left, including Tank. The others were all dead. Tank who was always muscular, was extremely skinny when I saw him. His legs wobbled when he walked. But he got through all that and survived and he said to me, Boss, sorry, I brought 1000 boys here. But only a few of them survived. Zon was saying that this six to five foot tough guy did not flinch from his enemies. He fought with an empty belly for six days. But at that moment, his tears ran down for the solider who died on the battlefield. Then Tank said to Zon, Boss, sorry, I ate too much. Then Zon punched on his face and said to him, What the hell? You could eat twice this much when we were at the borders. Why do you eat less now? Is it because you practice less now? Tank replied to him, No, boss I do practice, then Zon. Said to him, If you do, you have to eat enough to prove it, I will kick your ass if you do not eat enough. Then Tank said to him, Yes, king of war, then Zon father from his back said, He is king, then Tank. Said to him, Ahem, I mean king of food war. This is my food war. Then his father said, Oh, I thought. You were saying that king of war, on the other hand there were a few guys in the house of Pooh family. They were blocking the road for Zon one of them was saying to other, brace up. No one should go, through here, a guy said to Huang Fakai, are not we too serious about this? All these people gather, here, just to beat that kidnapper up. No matter who that kidnapper is, he will be frightened once he sees us. Then Huang replied to him. Yes, but we are not doing this for that kidnapper but for the Pooh family. If we will complete this task well, we will be able to be a second tire family, the whole family will be graced. Then Guy said to him, 
There are five minutes left but that kidnappers show up. Still nothing. Maybe he is freaked out. Then Huang replied to him. That bastard is cocky. He believed he will show up. He has the balls to kidnap Mr. Pu. So he will come. Just wait. He said. Yes, you are right. Then Huang said. Okay, be prepared. Once that bastard shows up, we go all out and get him. Remember, do not hurt, Mr. Pu. On the other hand Tank and Zon were coming toward Patriarch Pu. And the road was blocked. Then Tank said to Zon, Boss, how dare they close the traffic? Then Zon replied to him, Pu. Zhendong is trying to play rough. Good, let play rough with him. Get a copter. Tell everyone that the King of War is going to inspect Ocean East. Then Tank said to Zon, Got it. I will get the copter now. On the other hand at the office Zhendong was waiting for any news about arrival of Zon from Huang. He said to his guards, Anything new from Huang? Then a guard replied to him, He called just now. Saying, The kidnapper had not shown up. Then the other guy along him said, Maybe he is too sacred to show up. So cocky yesterday. I thought he would be a tough guy. Turns out he is just a rat. On the other hand, there were Ms. Shaw and Zooting. Shaw was saying that, finally we have a chance to have some fun. He looked there that road was completely blocked she said to Zooting. They suddenly closed four main roads. What is happening? Then Zooting said, now we can only go there by foot. There was a rival of Mr. Sun there. He was calling out Zooting he looked at Shaw and said to her, Oh, Ms. Shaw, you are also here, Zooting said to Sun, Mr. Sun, what happened to you? Then Mr. Sun replied to her, Uh, I took a night walk yesterday and met an old lady being robbed by two hooligans. I was pissed, so I helped here out, and thought the two hooligans a lesson. I am fine actually just a minor injury, he was thinking that, damn. Mr. G beat me up for no reason yesterday. How can I swallow this? Then Ms. Shaw said to Sun, an old lady, was out at night. Wow she must be, really brave. She further said to Mr. Sun, are you making it up too? Gain zooting favor, I guess you are just beaten up. Then Sun inquired to Shaw, Ms. Shaw, do I look like a liar? Then she replied to him, yes, you do look like a liar, Ms. Shaw said to Zooting, come on, we have to make it to the music square, let go. Then Mr. Sun said to them, wait, the music square is closed. You would not be able to get in there. Then Zooting said to him, why music square is closed. Then Mr. Sun replied to them, for some serious matter, but it is okay. I will pull some strings for you. He picked up his phone and called to someone and inquired to him who blocked the road. Then he replied, Huang Fakai, Mr. Fakai closed the road, after the call has been ended. Sun said to Zooting and Shaw, I told you, I could do it, to tell you the truth. It is Huang Fakai, who closed the road, well, thanks to my status, I know one of his subordinates, otherwise you will have to walk for half an hour to get there. How about this, I will offer you a ride, I just called them, we will there in a few minutes. Then there was arrival of Zon. Zooting was surprised by the arrival of Zon. She hugged to him and said to him, Finally, I found you. She said to him, Zon, why did not you tell me? I did not realize who you were. Before, your little sister told me. I did not accept to meet you here. Ms. Shaw was thinking that, it's him. And, Zooting actually knows him. On the other hand Zon was saying to Zooting, Yes it's me. I am back, she said to him, where you have been over these years. He replied to him, I was in the military. I do not contact you because I was on a secret mission, she said to him, Zon. I have been broken off the engagement with Chen Heading. I do not have feelings for him at all. Father would not propose this if everything was fine in our family. But this time we also offended the Chen family, then Zon replied to her. Do not be afraid. I am here when we were young. You were my protector. Now I am back to you. And I swear I will protect you forever. Mr. Sun said to Zon, You are Yidan brother. Right. Zon. 
completely ignored him and was continuing to conservation with Yidan and said to her, I heard you. We're going to the music square, she said to him, yeah, we want to have some fun on the weekend but. We were stuck here, I heard music square was also closed, on the other hand Mr. Sun said in anger too, Zan, hey, I am talking to you, are you deaf? Zan completely ignored him, and he said to Yidan, ah, copter will pick me up, you can come with me, miss. Shaw was very surprised by hurting about copter, she said to Zan, you mean you got a copter to pick you up just because of the traffic jam? Then Zan replied to her, yes, any problem. Then she said to him, you are doing it again. I would never talk to you, the bluffer, if you were not Yidan brother. I am so sick of your lies. A copter for the traffic jam. Zan ignored her and said to Zooting, let go, on the other hand Ms. Shaw was thinking that I would rather accept Sun offer, at least he is more real, Mr. Sun said to both of them, I am glad to offer you. To a ride, ha, huh, a copter, boy you really need a mirror, then Yidan replied to him, Zan is joking with us, actually we can get there on foot, walking while chatting sounds nice, Mr. Sun said, Zooting is still, speaking for him, why does she choose him over me, I am so much better than him, then there was arrival of copters there. Zahn said, they are here, then Ms. Shaw said to Zahn, yeah, some helicopters are flying over, does this have anything to do with you? Zahn not replied to her he just smiled. Copters, launch there an army move out from the helicopter they said to. Zahn, boss, this way please. Zooting was also thinking that Zahn was not joking. Sun also said, a real helicopter, Zahn said to. Zooting, let go, Ms. Shaw said to her, Zooting, what are you waiting for? Let go, on the other hand Mr. Sun was saying that, I bet he rented this copter, he looks too cheap to have a real one, I am sure he, cannot even afford a helicopter model, Huang Fakai was saying to a guy, the title king of war sounds, overbearing enough, usually this kind of big shots will only stay in Long City, why would he come to, Ocean East, then Guy replied to him, maybe it is a rumor, maybe someone made it up, Hugin said, right, it must be a rumor, okay, we will keep waiting for that kidnapper, suddenly he saw the copter and, he said, what the fuck, these copters are, he saw a flag that flag was the sign of, king of war, by, watching that flag he said, that flag, it is king of war, he kneeled down, Guy said to him, boss, what, happened, he replied to Guy, king of war is here, what the fuck are you waiting for, kneel and, kowtow, he said to Huang, boss they are heading toward dragon estates, what should we do now, he said to him, what should we do, unclose the roads, he is just entitled king of war, if he knows this, we, will be dead, I do not want to mess with him, he called to someone on his phone and said to him, Inform Ku Zondong that King of War is heading toward their dragon estates. On the other hand guards of Ku Zhendong were saying to each other, big shots who come to inspect Ocean East all will enter from here, yeah, we will meet King of War. If we wait here, it will be our get honor to meet with him. Huang said to Patriarch Ku, I have vital information to tell. Patriarch said to him, you caught the bastard who kidnapped my son, well we will talk about it later. Ling of war is super powerful, if we can play up to him, the Pu family will take off, we may be a wealthy family in Long City, my son is not as important as family status, then Huang replied to him, it is not about your son, it is about king of war, he is heading toward your company, Zhendong said, what, he was very surprised at that moment, he said, too, Welcome king of war all the powerful people in the city gather here. Yet king of war straightly goes to my place. My family must be blessed. I gotta win king of war faith. On the other hand Yidan said to Zahn. You are not going with us. Zahn replied to her. No, I have something to deal with. On the other hand, Mr. Tank put the dead body of Mr. Fu on his shoulder. That was wrapped in a sack. Security guards were stopping both Zahn and Tang to move forward with the dead body of Ku. 
Zhang said to them, Call Pu, Zhendong, tell me I have his son and I will wait for him at his office. One of the security guards said to, Zhang, you got a card, fuck off if you do know, who said you could just come here to ask to meet with. Patriarch Pu, then Mr. Tank hit them with that corpse and said to them, I always know how to fix a problem in the easy way, Zhang said to Tank, let go. They both in the real estate building office. On the other hand Patriarch Pu was inquiring to Huang, where is king of war? He said to Patriarch, but, we, saw that copter land in the square, it is impossible that it just disappeared. Then both security guards, moved toward Patriarch, Mr. Pu we have something to tell you, he grabbed security guard and said to him. Did you see the king of war? Where is he? Tell me. Then guard replied to him, no, it is the kidnapper. They broke into the company, then Huang said to guard, what? If the kidnappers offend king of war, we all will be dead. He slapped on his face and said to him, what are you waiting for? Go get them, Huang, further said to patriarch, who, you wait here for king of war. Leave those kidnappers to me, he, said to him, patriarch Huang I owe you once, Huang was thinking that, I have Pu Zhendong words. Now, my Huang family will soon take off in Ocean East, Patriarch Pu saw that there was car of Yidan. Lu, he was thinking that, what he is doing here, on the other hand Yidan Lu was saying that, the Pu. Family indeed the most powerful one in Ocean East. Quite well informed. Then Patriarch Pu also replied, to him that, I suppose your Lu family is also well informed, on the other hand Zan and Tank enter in. Real estate building and security guards were stopping them to move forward then Tank slapped on the face of one of them and said to him, people say Dragon Estate in the largest group in the Ocean East. But I think their security guard sucks. Security guards were saying to Tank, people do not kill us, Zong. Said to Tank, these are not solider. They are not that tough. There was also Huang he was also. Trembling and saying to Tank, please do not kill me. Please, Zan said to Tank, let go, security guards. We're saying to each other, fuck, that is so scary. Tank opened the door by kicking it. Tank said to Zan, boss, why do not we finish the dead body? Then Zan replied to him, finished him off will be a disgusting thing. Also I am not doing your job. Then Tank said to him, ha ha, I also fell disgusted. Zan said to Tank, nice place. We will stay here, call Pu Zhendong to get his son back, on the other hand. Huang called Zhendong by phone there was ringing on the phone of Zhendong and picked that phone up. And said on the phone, what? Then Huang replied to him, Patriarch Pu, this is getting tricky, I wonder, if I am allowed to use. Then Patriarch replied to him, sure, do not forget the silencer, and do not get spotted. After the call ended Yidan Lu said to Patriarch, you look pale, if there is something else you need to do, just go, I will wait here. Then Patriarch Pu replied Tro him, nothing more important than welcoming king of war, and this is my place. I will wait for and receive king of war, Lu replied to him. Ha, ah, I bet he is in trouble. I heard gun involved. On the other hand Tank was saying to Zan, boss I did not reach Patriarch Pu. Then Zan replied to him, since he does not come to see me. I will go to see him, but he will have to pay for this. Zon fall the dead body of Mr. Pu down from the building. There were a few people standing there near the building then the body of Mr. Pu fall down. People began saying to each other, what just happened? A dead body. People started gathering around the dead body. On the other hand Zon and Tank were ready to make entry they had skateboards in their hands. They put down skateboards and started skating Tank was saying to Zon, Oh, I have not had this much fun since I returned from the battlefield. Then Patriarch Pu moved toward his son dead body. While watching that scene he said, How, could this be, I have to endure this for our family. He inquired to other people who left this dead body there. If this offends king of war, I swear the Pu family will hunt the murder down. He ordered to his security guards that, get this place cleaned up. I do not want king of war to see this when he comes. 
Then they carried that dead body away. Then Zahn and Tank made the entry there and Tank attacked on the security guards who were carrying away dead body of Tank. One of the security guards said to Tank, Please do not kill me. Zahn said to Patriarch Pu, So you are Pu. Zhendong. Getting to see you is really a long process. Zhendong was thinking that, it is not looking. Right. People were inquiring from Zhendong. Who are they? Zhendong said to Zahn and Tank, Is it my illusion? They just flew and landed. Zahn said to Pu Zhendong, You do not want him back when he was alive and when his arm was missing. Now your son became a dead body. I do not know who to deal with. His body if you still do not want him back. Zhendong said to Zahn, You will get over this, but do not try to stir up trouble when we welcome King of War. His inspection tour in Ocean East must go smoothly. How much do I need to pay you to get you fuck away? Name the price. Then Zahn replied to him, Ha ha. You are abandoning your son to gain a brighter future. If so, the price will be 100 million. Zhendong was utterly surprised by hearing that huge amount of money. Then a judge arrived and said to Zahn, Are you crazy? I am the supreme judge in the Ocean East. Kneel and apologize to Mr. Pu and I may show some mercy. Then Zahn replied to him, Oh, you have not reached an agreement with your friend. Zhendong said to Zahn, Wait, I will give the money to you. Zhendong smashed on the face of Judge and said to him, Who are you to air our opinion here? Zhendong said to Zahn, It is the supreme card of Tongbao Bank. There is one 100 million under this account. Then Zahn replied to him, Guess, I have to say thank you, Mr. Pu. I hope to see you again. Zhendong replied to him, I will hunt you down. After entertaining King of War, just you wait, Tang said to Zahn, he does even bother to avenge his son. Just because some big shot is coming. Then Zahn replied to him, yes, just like my father, Zahn further. Said that, I hope that he is still healed I enough to have me break his legs and make him kneel in front. Of my mother tombstone, then Tang said to him, oh, his killing intention is even solidified, Zuding was. Calling Zahn, Ms. Shaw said to Zahn, Hey, what is wrong with you? Zooting is saying hi to you, then Zahn replied to her, I thought you were at the musical square. Zooting replied to him, Heard King of War was coming to Dragon Estate, so she wanted to come here. On the other rich people were heading toward Dragon Estate to welcome King of War. Ms. Shaw said, King of War visiting is a big thing. Such a pity that they only allow people who are worth over one 100 million in. Ms. Shaw said to Zahn, How did you get in? I saw you coming out of the building. Then Zahn replied to her, I was there for some business, then Shaw said to him, Just tell us you take a shortcut. You are so full of lies. Then Mr. Sun was also there he said. Yeah, just a poor brat but rented a copter just to make yourself look good, how pathetic. Zooting said to him, he is totally a stalker. Zahn replied to all of them, I said the truth believe it or not. I do not really care. I gotta go. Zooting if you want to go in, you can use this card. Then Mr. Sun said, just a stupid card. Zooting do not take it. I bet you will be embarrassed if you really use it. Then Sun hold his phone in his hand and said to Zahn, check, this I know Mr. Huang, Mr. Tank was completely in anger at that moment by Sun he said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Repeat yourself if you dare, Zahn stopped him and said to him, do not, let go, Mr. Sun called Huang on the phone and said to him, hello, Huang I am Sun could you please do me a favor? Then Huang replied to him, shut up, call me again and I will send someone to kill you, what the hell, who are they two, monsters? What the hell have I gotten into? Mr. Sun was completely surprised by that behavior of Huang he cut phone the down. Zooting said to Sun, that is what will happen if you only think about buttering up rich people. Zooting gave the card to Shaw and said to her, Shaw, you should go, I will go to Zan. She said to Zan, I know a restaurant named Zichong Restaurant, and on the other hand Ms. Shaw was thinking that Zooting is so obsessed with him. I do not get her, and this stupid card, 
Who will believe this card can get me in there? He called Zanen, said to him, I, man before his bestie, wait I will go with you. Army of Zan was, present in King of War escort, officer said to Solidar, he is moving toward Zichong restaurant, we have, to move toward restaurant, in the Zichong restaurant Zan and his family were enjoying meal. Ms. Sha, was saying that, wow, this is the most costly restaurant in the ocean east. You do not have to treat us a meal here, Zuding. Zuding replied to her, I have to, we are here to celebrate my reunion with Zan. Tank said to them, just eat, it is so disrespectful to talk when the dishes are already served. Zuding, said to Zan, your friend is looking so wild, Zan replied to her, yeah, sometimes too wild. Ms. Sha, inquired to Zan, why are not you excited about King of War arrival? He is every solider idol. Zan, replied to her, because he is not here. She said to Zan, what, not here, but everyone talking about, his arrival. Zan replied to her, if he is already here, the solider will have to line up to greet him out of town. I guess, he is not here, but his subordinates is. Zuding said to Zan, now, it explains. I wondered, why he suddenly came here, Zan said to her, Zuding, you are so clever. Ms. Sha was thinking that, oh, I really would come. What a pity, she said to Zan, then what are people in Dragon Estate waiting? For, on the other hand rich people in the Dragon Estate started saying to each other, is Mr. Pooh playing? Us, why has not King of War come? Yidin Lu said to Patriarch Pooh, we lost King of War escort, Pooh said to him, no way, you have to find his escort out, otherwise I will become a laughing stock in the ocean. East, Lu said to him, are we locating King of War? Then Pooh punched him and said to him, are you courting death? How dare you locate King of War? I am asking you to find out about the kidnappers. Find him and I will chop them into pieces, he also punched on the mouth of Huang and said to him, and you. Again, you cannot even finish off two kidnappers, you piece of shit, Huang replied to him, they are too strong. When I got there, they too jumped out of the building. We were on the 26th floor, then. Patriarch Pu Shou pistol to him and said to him, give me a solid reason if you want to live, Huang. Replied to him, show some mercy, please, I have a clue. I do, on the other hand Mr. Sun was saying, that, fuck that chicken. He embarrassed me in front of Zuding. There was call on the phone of Sun. Sun said to Huang, glad to receive your call. Huang replied to him, no, no, I am so flattered. It was a joke. You know it right. Actually I wonder if you know. He sent a picture to him and said to him, this is Long Yidin brother. Sun saw the picture and said, ha, you are doomed. Mr. Huang, now Zuding is mine. On the other hand in the restaurant Zuding was saying that, I am so glad to meet Zan again. She said to Zan, did you leave the army, or are you going back? Zan replied to her, sort of. The situation of borders is stable. They do not need me for now, Ms. Shah said to Zan, so what is your plan? You have to work, I mean, then Zuding interrupted Shah and said to her, Zan has been guarding the country for years, he can rest for a few days, Zan also said, yeah, I will take a rest and deal with some personal matters. Ms. Shaw was thinking that, it is hard to get a job now, I just thought about getting him a job, then waiter if restaurant arrived and said to Zuding, hello, miss, someone paid your bill. He wants you to have this card and invites you to his box on the second floor, Ms. Shaw said to Zuding, is it another of your adorers? She pointed toward Zan and said to him, that man sounds more decent. Then you, Zuding said to waiter, give the money and his card back. Tell him, I do not like mysteries. Waiter said to her, the one who invites you in Sun Kalen. Sun Kaluan you would better be smart. Young chick, Tank was listening all that conservation between waiter and Zuatung. He stood up and punched on the mouth of waiter. Waiter said to Tank, if you are killed today, remember you asked for. It, Ms. Shah said to Zan, you are too impulsive. The Sun family is military family, Zan replied to her. We have to take actions when necessary, or they will keep pestering, Zuding said to Zan, Sun is haunting me, it is not the first time, Sun Kuluan has done something like this. Let chat it somewhere else. Then suddenly a gang arrived at the table of Zuding and others along her. 
A Sun Kuluan in gang. Inquired to Tank, who punched that man? Waiter pointed toward Tank said, he is a man who punched. Me, Tank said to him, it is me. So what? Zuding said to Sun Kuluan, how did your parents raise a rat? In a respected family, Sun Kuluan replied to her, Zuding, do not target me just because we know each. Other batter, he further said to her, the host tonight is Mr. Chen, Mr. Chen said to Zuding, oh, you, or brother fiancé, stay and drink with me and your friend will free to leave. Then Zuding replied to him, we have broken off the engagement, behave yourself please. Sun Kuluan said to Zuding, the Chen, family is the overlord in the ocean east, drinking with him would not kill you. Then Zan punched Kuluan, and said to him, who said you could touch her? Chen while watching that scene said, Zan is so fast. Then he moved forward and said to Zan, you are good, who are you? Then Zan replied to him, who am I, someone you cannot afford to offend? Chen said to him, ha ha, someone I cannot afford to offend. Seriously, in the ocean east, boy you will be fucked up because of your stupid speech, then. Ms. Shaw said to Chen, I do not think you want to do this. Afray is against the law, shoot. We are doomed, Chen said to her, ha ha, against the law, let me tell you who the real lawmaker in this city. While listening this from Chen, Zan got angry and said to Tank, take the girls out, Tank said to Zan. Okay, I got it. Tank grabbed both Sha and Zuding and took them out, then Chen said to Zan, you are quite loyal willing to die for those two girls, he further said to Zan, playing cool even when facing your death. Huh, I will make you cry now, then a guy moved forward for attack and said to Zan, meet your maker, Zan replied to him, really, Zan stopped his attack by his finger. Guy said that, what, how is it, possible that his finger is stronger than my fist? Then guards of Chen said, get weapons, he is a solider, let's see who will win. My blade or your flesh. Then Zan punched him and he fall down. Zan said, yeah, I won. Zan said to Chen, and it is your turn. Chen said to him, my family is overlord in the ocean east. If you hurt me the whole ocean east will be against you. My family would not spare you. You might be good, but you will be die under guns, let me go, and I will forget everything that happened. Today, then Zan slapped on his face and said to him, that Shangguan bitch is fertile, but her kids are all lame, while listening that statement from the mouth of Zan, he said to him, you know my mom, she is the most powerful woman in the ocean east, she will give you whatever you want, if you, Zan, kicked him off and Chen fall down and Zan said to him, kind people lost their families, while the evildoers live happily, this is unfair, Chen said to him, do not kill me, no, then Huang stepped in. There and he fired at Zan but it missed by inches. Chen said to Huang, save me. Huang said to Zan, I will spare you, if you let Mr. Chen go. Then Zan kicked Chen and said to Huang, you can have him back. Now, Huang watching at Chen said, Zan, you killed Mr. Chen. Huang waved his hand and ordered his army to attack on Zan. They gathered around Zan. Huang said to Zan, you are dead meat. Zan said to Huang, wow, I wonder how you got this many guns in our country, come on shoot. Huang said to Zan, do not blame when you think of your death in hell. He ordered his army to fire. Then army of Zan arrived suddenly and attacked at the Huang army. Huang army fall down in a few minutes. People of army said to Zan, sorry for being late. We are the king of war escort. Zan said to them, your practice will be tenfold. Thank, army said to Zan, thank you your highness, Huang said, his highness, what are you talking about? Are you freaking seriously? We are not dumb. Then a girl arrived therein, punched Huang. She said to Huang, you are too loud, she said to Zan, why did you suddenly come to the ocean east, and why did not you take me with you? Zan replied to her, it is a long story. Clean up, this place, I gotta go, she said to him, yes, sir. On the other hand Zuding along with Tank and Sha was sitting at Wen Zuding place. Zuding said, I have to call my dad, Sha said, and I will have to call my grandpa. Tank said, come on, he will be fine, then there was call of Zan on the phone of Zuding. He picked up call and said to Zan, hello, Zan are you alright? He replied to her, yeah, 
She said to him, How could you send us away and stay there yourself? What should I do if I lose you? And what happened there? Zan replied to her, Nothing. Just something, she said to Zan, Let me go, Zan said. To her, Gotta go. I will talk to you later. On the other hand in the field a man was raping a girl her name. Was Lu he was saying to him, Babe, no more struggle, I swear you like this, then Zan suddenly arrived. There and said to the man, Raping in the daytime, I thought this would only be in cartoons, man said. Who is it? Zan said to him, Bro get a room or go somewhere that no one else can see you, man. Replied to Zan, What the fuck are you trying to say? Zan replied to him, I mean, I will kill you, if we are in an empty field, man said to Zan, kill me. I do not think you know me. I am Lei Bao. Bao attacked, on Zan. Zan said to Bao, cute, you are the first inner power fighter in Ocean East. But if this is all you got, I have to say you are disappointing, there was fight between them and Bao fall into water and began to drowning. He said to Zan, boy, the whole Lei Martial Club will hunt you down, Zan replied. To him, Lei, Martial Club, yes I can keep you alive. Hope you and your club will surprise me. Then, Zan moved toward the Lu and asked to him, Are you alright? She replied Zan, thank goodness you. Help me out. Zan said to her, It is okay. You are safe now, do you need me to call your family? She replied to him, No, send me to the Dragon Estate please. Zan was thinking that, she is good at giving orders. But Dragon Estate again. He took her to Dragon Estate and then said to her, Miss Lu, I guess. This is it. Then Lu holds on arm and said to him, Nope. You gotta come with me. NY father is one of the major shareholders here. I will tell him that you saved me, and he will repay you. Then Zan replied to her, One of the shareholders. I know one of them is Pu Zhendong. Lu replied to him, My father. Name is Lu Yundan. On the other hand was saying to his people who were Searching his daughter Lu, what do I pay you for? She has been missing for a whole afternoon, and you still cannot find her. Zhendong said to Lu Yundan, rest your anger, your daughter is always a lucky girl. I bet she is in some lucky place. They are a bunch of crap. They would not be able to find her, Yundan said to Pu, you did. This. Then Pu Zhendong replied to him, what are you talking about? I am a decent man. And I would not kidnap someone in person even if I really want to do it. Yundan Lu said to Zhendong, she is my only kid, you just tell me what you want me to do. I will fight you till the last second of my life if anything happens to her. Then Zhendong replied to him, calm down. Let me introduce Lei Hu to you. He is a great fighter from Lei Martial Club. He further said to Lu, give out your shares and he will help you with it. I am sure you will find her soon. Lu came in anger. Zhendong said to him, you were so happy when you mocked at me today, Yundan Lu said to him, fine, I will give it to you. But I have to hear my girl. Voice first, Zhendong replied to him, of course, then Lei Hu fighter was trying to call someone on the phone but the message from phone that, the subscriber you dialed is power off, he said, what the fuck? Zhendong said to him, what is the problem, Hu Lei said to Yundan Lu, Patriarch Pu have faith in our martial club, then suddenly Yundan daughter Lu arrived and said, Dad, I am here, Lei Hu watching. Her at that place said, This is impossible, while watching toward Zan Patriarch Pu said to him, Why are you here? On the other hand Lu hugged with her father and her father said, Thank goodness. You are fine, she also said to her father, Dad Zan saved me or I would not be able to come back, on the other hand Zan said to Patriarch Pu, good to see you again, now we can make another deal. Pu replied to him, you are still alive. Huang is a piece of shit, Yundan Lu moved forward and said to Zan, thank you, I cannot thank you enough, Yundan said, Zhendong is my foe. He said to Zhendong, I guess I cannot give you anything, why are you still here? Get out. Then Pu replied to him, no rush, maybe you. Kneel and beg later, Lei Hu said, Yes, Lei moved toward Lu to attack on her. Pu said to Yundan Lu, This is what you will get if you go against me. Then Zan moved forward and saved Miss Lu from attack, and punched Lei. Zan said to Lei, Well, you are quite good an inner power fighter. Lei said to him, You are also good. 
Yes, you are the one who rescued her from my little brother, Zhendong said to Lei, do not waste your time, catch him first and interrogate him later. Lei said to Zan, actually I did not pull my all out just now. Zan replied to him, oh, so you thought you could defeat me if you pulled your all out. Then Lei came in anger and said to Zan, how dare you, then Zan moved forward and said to Lei, is that all you got, I gotta teach you a lesson, Lei said to him, do not get too cocky, boy, there was fight. Between Lei and Zan, Zan punched him and Lei fall down and bleeding started from his mouth and he said to Zan, you are in the prime state, Zan replied to him, ha, I am in my prime, but inner power is not all I got, then Zhendong said to Zan, you, and he came near to Zan. Zan slapped him and said to him, do I have to give you a good beat before I talk to you? Zhendong said to him, you killed my only son, what else do you think to do? Zan replied to him, I want all your shares, if you do, you will have the chance to live the rest of your life, maybe you will have a new baby boy, do not you think? Then, Zan put his foot on the face of Zhendong. Zhendong said to him, you might as well kill me. Zan said to him, are you giving or not? Zhendong replied to him, fine, I will give it all to you, Yundan. Watching the all actions of Zan said, who the hell is he? On the other hand Zan picked equity transfer. Contract in his hand and he said, I have been back for a while. Gotta prepare a gift for my dear aunt. Zhendong said to Zan, can I leave now? Zan replied to him, yeah, I will spare you. But I do not know what Lu will do to you. Lu said to Zhendong, relax, I am a decent businessman, not a monster. Zhendong said to him, thank you, then Lu said to his security guard, hand over all the evidence I collected over the years to the police, then Zhendong kneeled down, Lu said to him, you deserves it. Then police came there, they arrested both Zhendong and Lei Hu, they thanked Zan for helping them. In arresting Zhendong, they also gave him a good citizen badge, Miss Lei said to Zan, Great, I thought, I could help get you a job, but now you do not need it. You are the boss now, Yundan Lei said to Zan. Boy, you earned this yourself. If you need any help in the future, come Dragon Estates to see me, Zan. Replied to him, I see, and said to him, bye, bye, then Zan and his family gathered at Long Dongqiang. Place, Tank said to Zan, boss, I sent the two girls home. Do not worry, Zan said to him, neither kept. You for dinner, Tank replied to him, both, actually, I had two meals before I came back, by listening this. About two meals Zan slapped on the face of Tank and said to him, the third meal. But you can still eat this. Much. Zan father Dongqiang said to him, okay, I have nothing but my cooking skills. You can eat as much as you want. Zan replied to him, you are really a good cook, how is the dinner construction going? Dongqiang replied to him, we have selected a good place, and we will start the business soon. But I am worried about Yidan, maybe I will too busy to take care of her. Zan said to his father, do not worry. Yidan can stay at my place. I am her brother. You can entrust her to me, Yidan by listening that. Conservation was very happy. Then there was knock at the door. Zan came out and there were Mr. John Mr. Jin outside the house. Zan said to them, you have done an excellent job rescuing Yidan, you ought to be rewarded, Mr. G replied to him, it was our fault, we do not deserve any reward, Zan replied to him, I am very impartial in the dispensation of rewards and punishment, if you want, I can send you to the western region, then Mr. Jin said to Zan, we could at least the primary country sheriff, in Ocean East if we passade the trail in the western region, then Mr. G said, the western region is under, the jurisdiction of the king of war, no one gets to step into his military zone. Then Mr. Jin said, yeah, that is true. Zan replied to them, I rule the western region, by listening this from Zan, they both were very shocked and said, what, is he king of war? They both kneel down in the front of Zan and said to him, your majesty, thank you for the opportunity, we will fight until we die on the battlefield. Zan said to them, you are dismissed. Do not disclose my identity to others, they replied to him, your majesty, they said to each other, let us that care of that matter for his lordship before we head for the western region, on the next day in the teacher office, Zuding said to Yidan, we will have a dinner party for my birthday, 
here is your invitation letter. Please take Zhang with you, Yidan said to her, thank you, Ms. Zuding, my brother and I will be there, Mr. Sun was also there in the school, he listened all. The conservation between Yidan and Zuding, he said, what the hell happened to Huang? He did not get the job done, and he went missing. What an unreliable man, it leaves me no choice but to do it. Myself, he was thinking that, I will target Yidan to get my hands on Zuding, he said to a girl to make. His video he said to her, you know, what to do next, do not you? She replied to him, of course, then. Mr. G arrived there and said, what is going on here? Sun said to him, it is just misunderstanding. Mr. G and Mr. Jin beat both Sun and girl along him, both of they fall down. Mr. G said, they have got some nerve to bully Ms. Long, how stupid. On the other hand in the Sun family, Mr. Sun reached home then. His mother said to him, who did this to you? Whoever did it will pay. Then there was a man standing. Along her said to her, stop crying, according to my men, there was a gunfight between the king guards and terrorists in Zichong restaurant, and Kuluan Sun was involved. Then she said, king guards are supposed to protect civilians, I will sue them and bring them to the military court. While listening this, from her, man slapped on her face and said to him, those terrorists were all from the Pu family. Pu, Zhendong was thrown into the prison that very night. The priority for us to figure out whether your son has participated in the fight, she said to Kaluan father, how could you do this to me? Kaluan is your son, you are not thinking of seeking revenge from him but punishing me here, he replied to her, you indulge him too much. Then security guard arrived and said Kaluan father, sir, someone is asking to see you. He claimed himself to be the young master debtor. Then Kaluan mother slapped on the face of Garden, said to him, do not you know how to treat those who bully my son? Why did not you break his limbs and make him suffer? Security guard replied to her, yes ma'am, outside the house of Sun family was. Stood along with his men. He said, they are not going to invite me in, we will have to fight our way in. There, not all those guys who hunted us down were from the Shangwan family. He remembered about his childhood incidents when he nearly survived from the men and he hide in a room difficultly. Then, Zan said, I cannot help but want to seek revenge whenever I think of that night, on the other hand. Kaluan father said, I could feel his fierce, what happened? Then Zan kicked his security guards, mercilessly. Kaluan father called Captain Yu and he said to him, someone here in my house to kill me. Captain replied to him, I see, I will be on my way, on the other hand Zan said, that was easy, are they? The best guards in the Sun family. Then a man moved forward and butler of Sun family was also stood. There. He said to Zan, how dare you insult a family that has trained many military officers in history, like the Sun family, then another man said to Zan, it is shame that the Sun family had anything to do. With a scumbag like you, you will regret coming here soon. Then Zan replied to him, who are you two? Talk, I want to speak with your patriarch, then man moved forward to attack on Zan and said to Zan. How arrogant, you do not deserve to see our patriarch. Do not forget it was Lu Shanglong, the captain, of the guards, who wanted to kill you. Then Zan slapped him and said to him, I am arrogant. Then, captain moved forward and said to Zan, wait, Zan also slapped him and said to him, you are a captain. Then butler said to Zan, you will pay for your arrogance, Zan also slapped him and said to him, my arrogance, he said to Zan, I am the butler of Sun family, then Zan again slapped him and said to him, you are just a butler. So what, captain and butler were beaten badly they hand up and said to Zan, stop, please stop it, we surrender. Then Zan said to, butler and servant of the Sun family, you will answer my question honestly. If you want to live, servant, said, yes, sir. Zan asked to them, are there any other martial artists in the Sun family? Have you? seen anyone skilled at knife or acrobatic jumping? Servant replied to him, we are the only martial artist. The Sun family has besides the patriarch. Butler also said, the Sun family is just a small family. I have not seen anyone who fits your description. Zan began to thinking that they did not lie. I guess the Sun family did not get involved in that matter. Zan said to them, all right, if that is the case, I will leave the Sun family alone. 
then mother of Sun Kalin from the back moved forward to attack at the Zan with dagger. Then suddenly Zan turned around and saved from the attack and said to Kalin mother, that is despicable. How could a woman like you make a surprise attack? The she said to Zan, tell me, did you hurt Kalin? Zan replied to her, he brought that to himself. Then Kalin mother said to him, I knew it was you. You are skilled at martial art, but I think of hundreds of thousands of ways to make you suffer. I will start with your family. By hearing that statement the servant of Sun family moved forward and slapped on the face of Kalin mother and said to her, shut up. You do not know what you are talking about bitch. I do not care if you want to die, but you cannot take us down with you. Then, she replied to servant, you are just a servant. How dare you slap me? I will ask Hexuan to kill you and your family. Then Butler also moved forward and he also began beating her and said to her, screw you. Son Hexuan cannot even protect himself now. Do not try to threaten me with him. Servant also said to her, I meant to give you a piece of my mind long ago. Zan was thinking that a man must get himself a good wife but Son Hexuan did not. That woman even dared to threaten me by hurting my family, the Sun family deserves to perish. Then Sun Hexuan passed near to Zan. He was driving the car. Zan saw him and said, I cannot believe Sun Hexuan run away without saying hello to me. He did not even care about his wife and son. Sun Hexuan was thinking that that man trounced Lu Shuanglong. He must be at least a second lieutenant in the army. Why did he come to my house? Then Zan jumped on the car of Hexuan and said to him, Hi, Mr. Sun. Where are you going? Sun Hexuan came out from the car, he hands up and said to Zan, please do not hurt me. Please tell me what you want from me, sir, then. From the front a jeep was coming. A man who was driving the jeep was Captain Yu. He said, who is this guy? I have to survive this and get my revenge later. Hexuan looked toward Captain Yu and said, that is my men. He moved toward him and said to him, help me, Captain Yu. Then Zan jumped off from the car and said to Hexuan, no one will save you. There was ringing on the mobile of Zan. He picked up his phone. That was the call of his sister Yidan. He said to her, Yidan, what's up? Okay, I am on my way. On the other hand Captain Yu came out from the jeep and said to Sun Hexuan, what happened? I came, as soon as I received your phone call. Hexuan said to him, I am glad you made it. Captain Yu, that man, was ruthless. He could have killed me if you came any later. Captain Yu said to him, let's see how dares to attack a military officer in Ocean East. Sun Hexuan pointed toward Zan and said, it is that guy. I do not know why, but he brought quite some men to place and tried to kill me. Captain Yu said to him, who is he? You are not messing around with me, are you? Then Sun Hexuan turned around and Zan was gone because his sister called him. Sun Hexon came in anger and said, where is he? On the other hand in the president street Zan was enjoying with his sister. Yidan was saying to her brother, what took you so long, Zan? I have waited for you for quite some time. Zan replied to her, I was in the middle of something, I will be quick next time. Yidan looked at the shop and said to Zan, let's check out this shop. He said to Zan, we are going to Ms. When birthday party, we must buy ourselves some decent clothes. She picked up a suit and said to Zan, how do you like this one? Zan said, no, a boy, was looking toward Zan behind the door. Zan said, someone is stalking us. Boy said, it's him, he, moved toward general manager office and said to general manager, sir, and he started whispering in. The air of manager, the guy who fought with the Chen family members in the Tito restaurant is here. Manager said to him, are you sure, he replied to manager, yes, do we call the Chen family? Manager, replied to him, idiot, we are doing the Chen family a favor. It is the best if we take care of him and then inform the Chen family. On the other hand Yidan was very happy by shopping some beautiful clothes. And she was saying that, wow, we have brought so many clothes. I love shopping. Boy said to Zan, please come this way and pay your bills. Yidan said, that is strange. The checkout counter is usually at the entrance. Boy replied to her, the checkout counter over there is for VIP guests. It is 10 million dollars in total. How do you want to pay? Yidan said to him, 10 million dollars. That cannot be true. These are not worth 10 million. 
Why did you bring us here anyway? Zong was thinking that, someone, is always trying to hurt me. Boy said to Zong, why? Because I am afraid that you would bag and dash. Now, hey, Yidan said to Zong, I do not want them now. Zong lets go. Then general manager came, here and said to Yidan, I went to all the trouble to bag them for you. And you do not want them. Are you fucking kidding me? Then Yidan replied to him, hey, are you trying to force a deal? General manager said to Yidan, what? You want to talk to my manager? Girl, nobody can help you out now. If you do not pay, believe it or not, I will. Then Zan moved forward and slapped on the face of general manager and said to him, are those your last words? General manager said to him, how dare you? You slap me, the man you owe 10 million to. Zan said to him, yeah, what can you do to me? Then general manager asked to Zan, I know you are good. But can you really afford to go against the government? 10 million. Boy, I will just make a phone call and you will have your rest life spent in the prison. I can do that, but I am so nice that I actually want to spare you. On the condition that you now visit the Chen family with me. Then Zan came in anger and started fighting with general manager and workers. He tossed manager up and said to him, you are just too weak. General manger said to said, to Zan, you are dead. You almost killed us. I have called the police. Just wait for your death penalty. Zan replied to him, nobody in the world can penalize me. General manager replied to him, oh, really? We will see when you are in the jail. Your chick, Zan said to him, I can see you have faith in yourself. Good I will wait to see if I will fail you. Then police arrived there. General manager was very happy. A police woman came forward and said, who reported the incident? General Manger replied to her, I am a friend of Deputy Chief Lu at your police station. Those two individuals committed murder and robbed me of $10 million. Arrest them quick, she said, I will make my own judgment after. Reviewing the surveillance footage go, policeman, yes madam, General Manger said to police, wait, I need to make a call, he was thinking that, shit. I will be busted if they watch the footage. Is not that clear enough that I am with Deputy Chief Lu? What is the wrong with the dumb woman? He called the Mr. Lu and said to him, Mr. Lu, it's me. Yeah, I am in some trouble yeah. Okay, I will let you talk to her. He gave his mobile to police woman and said to her, here, it's your boss. He will tell you what to do in this incident. General Manger was very happy. He said to Zan, like I said, you will be dead. Actually, I may show some mercy if you knell in the front of me now. I will make it less torturing when you are in prison. Zan said to him, really? Then police woman called Mr. Lu and said to him, it's me. Mr. Lu, you giving me any orders? Mr. Lu replied to her, dear me. Boss, is that you? No order, not at all. I am just wondering if you are giving any orders to me. She replied to Lu, no orders, but I need you to tell me if you know the owner of this clothes shop, General Manger was very surprised by hearing conservation between police woman and Lu. He said, what is going on, on the other hand Mr. Lu, replied to police woman, absolutely no, I do not know owner of the shop, did, he say so. Do not, believe what he said, he could be a swindler, General Manager said, Mr. Lu. I, police woman said to, manager, he hanged up, do you want to make one more call? General manager asked to her, you are, the chief, she replied to him, who I am not important but the truth is, I advise you to confess now, then general manager kneeled down in the front of her and said to her, I lied and made a false report to, the police, I want to withdraw my report now, on the other hand Zan said to general manager, withdraw, you were trying to force the deal and extorting money from me. I am going to sue you now. General manager handed up and said to Zan, no, you have not paid at all you have no evidence. Then, there was message on the phone of general manager that 10 million dollars have been credited to your account. He was very surprised and he said to Zan, what? You. Zan replied to him, now I have remembered to return the money to me. Also be a good boy in prison. I do not think you can be a Good thug. Then police woman moved forward and said to general manager, now we have both. Witness and material evidence against you. Sir, 
You are suspected of kidnapping and extortion for $10 million. We are detaining you. Police kidnapped him and took him to police station. Police. Woman said to Zan, Sir, I need to have a word with you. Come with me. Zan replied to her, Okay, they. Moved into a room and police woman said to Zan, Your lordship, I advised just in time right. How will you reward me? Zan asked to her, rewarding you for arresting S thug. Anyway, how did you become a police woman? She replied to Zan, I contacted black suits to better handle the task you gave me. They members in high position in Ocean East, including a captain named Yu Zhitong, Zan began to. Thinking that, Captain Yu Zhitong, I do not think I have met him before. But his name sounds familiar. Police woman said to Zan, Captain heard that you were in the Ocean East, so he tried to do something. To impress you, he also sent this dress, Zan looked at the dress and said, Yes, it's good, she further. Said to Zan, and for what you asked me to investigate. There are some leads, but why do not you use the government resources to investigate? She handed over the dress to Zan. Zan replied to police, Woman, if I give the imperial decree, the Shangguan family will have to accept its punishment. However, that will also alarm those who hide under the water. They will hide even deeper. I will make those who plundered my family property and forced my mother to death pay. Then police woman said to Zan, I am sure your majesty will get what you want, and I will do my best to help you. Then Zan and police woman came out from the room. Yidan said to them, what were you two doing in there? It's been quite a while, police woman replied to Yidan, you can imagine what we did in there, she said to Zan and Yidin, bye, have a nice day. Then Yidan with his brother moved toward Tito restaurant for the birthday party of Zooting. One after another was entering in the restaurant for the birthday party. Zooting father was saying to everyone, thank you for coming to my daughter birthday party welcome. Everyone was very happy and everyone was saying to each other, long time no see, then Yidan and Zan made their entry. Yidan was very happy to see such an amazing arrangement for the birthday party. She said to her, brother, this place is amazing. I have never been to such a fancy party before, Zan came near to. Zooting and wished her, happy birthday, Zooting replied to him, thank you, I am so glad you can. Make it today, then women were standing behind Zan started saying to each other, who is that man? Why is Zooting so excited to see him? Could he be her boyfriend? He looks like a playboy, I think he may come from a rich family. Then a girl said, he is Zan the brother of Zooting's student. He just left the army, and Zooting has a crush on him, then a woman said, I see, he is just a poor veteran. I do not understand why Zooting would like such a man. Such a relationship never ends well. Then another woman said, Zuotong has so many better choices, why would she choose a veteran? Other woman replied to her, I have no idea about that, the at the outside the Tito restaurant the jeep of Mr. Yu arrived. Security said to Mr. Yu, good evening, I did not accept you to come here from the army, Mr. Yu replied to him, it's Zooting birthday party. I should come. Security guard said to Mr. Yu, this way, please. There are two groups here. The big shots are all on the second floor. Those who are on the first floor are all young people. Please go to second floor, Mr. Yu said, that's okay. I suppose Zooting is also on the first floor. I will find her first. Mr. Yu steeped in the Tito restaurant and he saw that Zan and Yidan was talking to each other. Mr. Yu came in anger mood and he said, that man is close to Zooting, he moved forward with anger then a woman looked at Mr. Yu and said, look, Yu Tianlong is here, he is Captain Yu Zhutong younger brother, and an admired of Zooting. This is going to be fun, then a girl was standing there, she said, I heard that Yu Tianlong used to beat the hell out of another admirer of Zooting. Woman replied to girl, he only restrained himself when Zooting got engaged to Mr. Chen. Now that the engagement has been annulled, Yu Tianlong will seize the chance and pursue Zooting again, Mr. Yu moved forward and said to Zooting, can I have a word with you? Zuotong asked to him, what do you want to say? You can say it right here. Mr. Yu said that, fine, I want you guys to leave Zooting and me. Alone I have something to tell her. Then Zooting replied to him, what are you doing Yu Tianlong? I am telling you Zan is staying, then Mr. 
Yu glanced at Zan and said to him, So you are Zan? Zan replied, To him, yes, why? Mr. Yu said to Zan, People say that you are quite a fighter. Even Mogan from the Chen family lost to you. However, Mogan is nothing in my eyes. Zan replied to him, Yeah, so, Mr. Yu replied to him, So, I suggest you read the atmosphere and leave now. Compared to dying in my hands, being embarrassed in front of women is nothing, Mr. Yu said to Zuding, Please come with me. I want to tell you something. Then Zan said to Mr. Yu, She already rejected you. Please leave her alone, Mr. Yu came in anger and said to Zan, What? How dare you ask me to leave? He wanted to punch him. He pulled his hand forward, but Zan was also in completion with him. Mr. Yu said to Zan, You are good, but are you sure you want to act against me? Zan replied to him, What if I say yes? Mr. Yu asked to Zan, Do you have any idea who I am? I was a special recruit at 10, got into the army at 15, and became a second lieutenant at 18. I am much more experienced in fighting than you, and I have been to war when times were extremely tough. Now do you still want to challenge me? Zan began to laughing and said to Mr. Yu, I am sorry I laughed. I did not know anyone who would tell others about his life experience before fighting. Zuding also began to laughing. Mr. Yu said to Zan, you are dead, meat. Then a woman said, that guy is crazy. He is actually acting against you Tianlong. Then a girl said to Zuding, your friend is a real man. Look at you Tianlong. He seems like he could kill someone. That is, just who Zan is, then Mr. You said to Zan, you will regret saying that when you lie on sickbed. Zan replied to him, you are no naive yet fearless, Mr. You wanted to punch but he stopped himself. Then, father of Zuding arrived there and said to them, we are having a birthday party for my daughter here. Let's sit down and talk things out, Mr. You said to him, of course, I would not do anything to ruin the party, I will let this side. Then Zuding father said to Mr. Yu, that is quite a gesture Tianlong, please, send my regards to Captain Yu. Zan was thinking that, Mr. Yu is such a double face, if he could be so flexible on the battlefield, I would have given him the authority over an army, Zuding father glanced at Zan and began to thinking that, he must be Zan. It has been so many years since I saw him last time. He has changed so much. Mr. Sun was also there. He looked at Zan and said to him, I cannot believe you are here. Then Zan replied to him, Well, well, is not that the genius who abandoned his wife and son for life? Mr. Sun came in anger and said to Zan, That is pure slander. This is law-based country. You are good at fighting, but you still have to abide by the law. The girl who was standing there, who was the friend of Yidin said to her, What is going on? Did that friend of yours also offend the Sun family? Sun Kalin, assolated us not a long ago. Could that be the reason? A lady from the crowd moved forward and said, To Mr. Yu Tianlong, that man is horrible. He came to my place and ravaged everything I had. Mr. Yu, you cannot let him go easily. Mr. Yu Tianlong replied to her, But I promised Mr. When I would not ruin. The party, he said to Zan, I will forgive you if you kneel before Mr. Sun and apologize to him. What do you think? Zuding said Mr. Yu Tianlong, you have gone too far, Mr. Yu Tianlong replied to her, please. Stay out of it, the Sun and Yu families are in this together. My brother would agree to my proposal if he were here, Mr. Sun Kalin said to Mr. Yu Tianlong, yes, your brother would have handled him if he did not escape so quickly. Mr. Yu Tianlong said to Zan, kneel down in the front of Sun, Zan replied to him, what if I say no? He poured down the drink on his shoes. Mr. Yu Tianlong said to Zan, I have warned you already, but you challenged my patience once again, Mr. Wen said to Mr. Yu, it's my daughter birthday party, do not make any trouble, Mr. Yu Tianlong replied to him, please bear with me. Mr. Wen the Yu family will make it up to you by helping you gain a large market share later, Mr. Wen, replied to him, well, Zan threw his jacket away and said to Mr. Yu Tianlong, there is no need to say more, it will only take a few seconds to fight, women was standing there said, good for you. Friend of, Zuding said to her, what are you doing, a man was from the crowd said, what a stupid choice. 
he replied to Mr. Yu with dignity. But his action will bring disaster to him. Woman said to him, which wealthy family are you from? Man replied to her, sorry, I am not from the rich family. But I did rock hard to become the executive recruiter of the Tito restaurant. She slapped him and said to him, what a piece of crap. I thought you were from the rich family. Who do you think you are hit on me? Man fall down and requesting from help. Friend of the Yidin said to Zan, well, you are the snob, Yidin said to Zan, never mind, Zan, Zuding also said to Zan, the man who fall down does not deserve your attention, Zan said to both of them, do not worry, I will make sure he has no gut to find trouble with you in the future, he will also respect me like I am a god, lady in the crowd said to her husband, what is he doing, that will only make you tea on long matter, he replied to his wife, I do not know what to say. Except that a man who knows nothing will fear nothing, Mr. Wen said to his security guard, call Captain Yu and ask him to come over, Mr. Yu Tianlong said to Zan, you are a brave man. I like it, you should feel honored to see the ancient martial skills of our Yu family and die here. A man in the crowd said, ancient martial skills, I have never seen that before, Mr. Sun Kalen was thinking that, Zan is a great fighter, but he only reached the accomplished state of inner power, Yu Tianlong on the other side. Reached the same level, but in terms of ancient martial skills. Only those in the perfect state of inner power can defeat him, Zan said to Yu Tianlong, good, let's have a try, Mr. Yu Tianlong replied to Zan, do not be full of yourself, he attacked on him but he even did not touch him. Zan defend him, easily and began to, thinking that, what does he mean by the ancient martial skills of the Yu family? He, must mean the book named the ultimate skills of eight arms. Yu Tianlong again attacked on him but he, failed badly. Zan said to him, that is the wrong way to practice the ultimate skills of eight arms. Mr. Yu, Tianlong was very surprised by hearing that suggestion from the Zan and said to him, how do you, No, I dare you to fight me instead of dodging all the time. Zan replied to him, that is a brilliant leg, move, but you did it all wrong. Mr. Yu Tianlong came in anger and said to Zan, damn, it is dodging all you can do. Zan said to him, come again, Sun Kalen was thinking that, how could this be? Yu Tianlong is not as good as his brother. He is certainly not a rival for Zan. I should leave this place now. Then after some time Captain Yu the younger brother of Mr. Yu Tianlong came there in the Tito. Resaturant. Captain Yu saw the condition there and said, I cannot believe Tianlong is making trouble. Again, Sun Kalen saw Captain Yu there and said to him, I am glad you are here Captain Yu. That guy who, used to come to my place but escaped later is in there. Captain Yu said to him, really? We will settle, things with him then, he glanced at Zan and said, this guy looks familiar, Yidin said, watch out. Kuching, kick him in the crotch, Captain Yu looked at Yidin and said, that is strange. Why is she wearing the silk dress that I asked my friend to gift his lordship the other day, he was watching the fight. Between his brother and Zan, Yu Tianlong was saying to Zan, damn it, you will see what I am capable of. Zan replied to him, okay, let's settle this with one strike. I am getting bored anyway. Captain Yu, surprisingly attack on his brother and said to him, you little rascal, he step on his face, a girl was. Standing in the crowd looked at Captain Yu and said, wow, it's Captain Yu, he is so handsome, no, wonder he is the big shot in the Ocean East military department. A man said that, Captain Yu does not, attend a birthday party like this, Mr. Wen came near to Yu Tianlong and said to him, well, I understand what you are saying, but you think he kicked the wrong guy, Captain Yu came in the front of Zan, kneeled down in the front of him and said to him, sir, I am sorry my brother insulted you. I am willing to accept your punishment. People in the crowd was very surprised by watching that moment they began to saying that, what? Captain Yu is apologizing to Zan. What the hell is going on here? He is not just apologizing. He is actually kneeling before him. I cannot believe what I am seeing. Zuding was also very surprised and beat into thinking that, was Zan a major in the military before he left the army? Zan began to thinking to that, Captain Yu knows who I am but did not expose me, instead he just regarded me with sir, that is clever, Zan said to Captain Yu, you are a smart man,
Captain Yu kneeled down in the front of him and said to him, the Yu family has been nothing but loyal to you. Please have mercy on us. On the other hand Yu Tianlong got up and said to Captain Yu Zhitong, what are you doing? Captain Yu replied to him, shut up, troublemaker. Mr. Yu said, okay, Captain Yu said to Zan, sir, please spare. My brother, if you are still mad, I would rather die for him. Zan replied to him, that is okay. I would not take it to heart, but this will never happen again. Clean this mess and get the hell out of here. Then, Zuding father mister, Wen moved forward and said to Zan, I did not accept things to become like this. I am sorry if I ever neglected you. Please come with me to the second floor and catch up a little, Zan replied. To him, thank you. Captain Yu was in very anger mood, he came in the front of Sun Kalen and inquired. To him, did you egg my brother to fight that man? Sun Kalen asked to him, what do you mean? Captain Yu, Captain Yu said to him, what do I mean? Did not you hear what that man asked me to do? He wanted me to clean the mess. Did you know you almost ruined our Yu family? Then Sun Kalen hands up and said to Captain Yu, no please, I will give all our Sun family property to you. Please spare my life. Captain Yu kicked him. Sun Kalen fall down. Captain Yu said to him, you are such a coward. How could you be a military officer? Sun Kalen said to him, please, please have mercy on me. Captain Yu put his foot on the back of Sun Kalen and there was bleeding from the mouth of the Sun Kalen. Mr. Yu, Tianlong said to Captain Yu, who is that guy anyway? Captain Yu replied to him, fine. Mr. Yu Tianlong said, his lordship, I never thought he could be that powerful. Captain Yu said to his brother, we have to find a chance and apologize to him some other day, on the other hand in the reception room Zan. And Mr. Wen were talking to each other. Zan said to Mr. Wen, I am sorry I did not get to visit you since. I got back to Ocean East, Mr. Wen said, that's okay, he said to his daughter, I would rather leave you. Young people to bond with each other, Zuding said to his father, Dad, what are you saying, then Mr. Wen said to her, I am kidding. You two can have some fun yourselves. I will have a word with Zan. Zuding replied to his father, Good, I do not want to stay here and listen to you anyway, both Zuding. And Yidin moved out from the room and closed the door of the room. Zan said to Mr. Wen, What do you have in mind? Mr. Wen sat down in the front of Zan and said to him, The upcoming contest for market share is critical to our Wen family. I beg you to help us. Zan said to him, Please stand up. Mr. Wen, you can tell me about the contest first. Dot, I will see if there is anything I can do to help. Mr. Wen said, to Zan, I am sorry if I made a fool of myself. I have no other choice now. He further said to Zan that, Ocean East has many enterprises, but the market is not that big. Everyone is competing for a bigger market share. Those who did get a bigger share will live, and those who do not may perish. Ultimately, the tycoons made a rule to decide the market share with a combative contest. Those enterprises with the best fighters will get a larger market share. Zan replied to him, that is an interesting rule. If your fighter loses, you will get a smaller market share. That does not sound so bad. Mr. Wen replied to Zan, it is not that simple. I have done my best to give my market share to others. But they still do not want to leave us alone, if I back down more, the Wen family will perish. I plan to ally with the Chen family, but I discovered they were also after us, Zan asked to him, if that contest is so significant, all the great fighters will attend, would not they? Mr. Wen replied to Zan, yes, it takes a lot to get accomplished in fighting, no one will pass on a great opportunity like us, Zan replied to him, okay, I will represent the Wen family attending the contest. Zan was thinking that, it is an excellent opportunity for me to investigate all other great fighters. On the other hand Yidin and Zuding were outside the room, both of. They stuck their ears to door and were saying to each other, what are they talking about in there? I cannot hear anything, Yidin said to Zuding, could they be talking about the marriage between you and my brother, Ms. Sha was also standing there behind the Zuding and Yidin. She began to thinking, that, Zuding and Zan are getting married. Why do I feel upset hearing this? On the other in the Chen residence, the servant of Shangguan Nalan was giving some papers to her. 
he said to Nalan, here are all the materials about Zan. She read the papers and said, I see. No wonder I cannot find him all these years. He was in the military. He must think he could against me since he now ranks high in the army. She splashed all papers and said, how naive. The Chen family has all the power in the ocean east. Getting rid of Zan is as easy as killing a bug. I should have killed him when I killed his mother. Servant, said to Shangguan Nalan, I have delivered your message to Elder Zhang. He said he would help you after. The contest for market share. She slapped on the face of servant and said to him, but I want that. Bastard dead now, forget I will let him live for a couple of more days. She further asked to the servant, how is the investigation going with that the other man? Servant replied to her, I have not found anything yet, but I am getting close, Shangguan Nalan came in anger. She fired with pistol at servant, and said to him, I asked you to do three things. And you failed too, you do not deserve to live, servant. Fall, down and there was bleeding from his back, and he was almost died. On the other hand in the house of, Zan Wuxing aunt. There was birthday of Guang the son of Zan aunt Yidan gave a gift to Guang and said to him, this is what I prepared for your birthday. Open it, Guang thanked her, and began to, opening the gift. Guang mother was very sad and she was saying that, I would do anything to get Guang. Treated, Zan said to her aunt, I heard that there was a top class brain specialist in Arantra. We can, take Guang there and get him better treatment, Zan aunt replied to him, that kind of specialist usually charges tens of thousands of dollars. I cannot afford that, I only want Wang to grow up safe and sound. Zan replied to his aunt, Aunt, I have the share transfer of dragon estates in my hands, then. Suddenly Jiadong entered in the room and said to aunt, Good news, auntie. Then he saw that Zan was. Also there he stopped at the spot, and said to Zan, Oh, hello mister. Zan, Jiadong began to thinking that, Damn it, I cannot believe he is here too. How can I tell my aunt what my uncle asked me to do? Aunt, said to him, what is the good news Jiadong? He replied to aunt, well it's nothing. My uncle asked me, to give you something. Zan aunt replied to Jiadong, do not call that man uncle. He is nothing but a stranger to me. She began to coughing and said to Jiadong, he abandoned me and my son. I will never forgive him. Jiadong replied to her, Yes, I understand. I did not want anything to do with that man, either, but he made an offer, have a look, is that a conciliation statement? My uncle said he would compensate you half a million dollars if you signed on it. He did make a reasonable offer. With this money, you can treat Guang and live a better life. Then Zan Ant snatched the papers from Jiadong and tore up them. She said to him, that phony makes me sick. I will not take his money. Jiadong replied to her, he is, just trying to make up for you. You need money, do not you? Zan, replied to Jiadong, oh, after so many years, he finally realized that he needed to make up for them. Jiadong replied to him, well, he heard about you, and, he is thinking maybe I can help mediate. Zan, aunt said to Zan, that scumbag may hurt you, Zan replied to her aunt, relax, I will go to him. Anyway, that man has to pay the price, Jiadong moved out from the Zan ant and he was thinking that. Tisk, damn that Zan. My words did not work on him at all. He saw the police woman was coming from the front. He saw toward her and said, wow, he said to her, hi, beautiful lady. I work at Tito, restaurant. She kicked him at his nuts and said to him, what was wrong with you when you decide to chat me up? Jiadong began to weeping with pain. On the other hand Zan was giving a paper to his and and he said to her, take the equity, and I have already arranged for experts for you, and was very surprised by watching that paper and she said to Zan, this is too much, I do not know how to repay. You, Zuding said to her aunt, we are family, you have taken care of me all these years without expecting anything in return, have not you? Zan was thinking that, next, Ocean East is going to face a bloodbath, it would be safe if she takes Guang abroad for medical treatment, he heard the voice of Meow, from outside, he moved out and saw that police woman was climbed on the tree and said to her, What are you doing here? She replied to him, I am on the tree because I am hot kitten, Zan again. Said to her, I, get down, she fall down from the tree and said to Zan, I have found the blade. Master, it's Lei Qiandao, 
the owner of Lei Martial Club, Zan said, Lei Qiandao, death will descend. On the other hand in the jail in Ocean East the general manager of the mall was saying to prisons, I am telling you, I work for Mr. Lu which makes me the boss in this prison, all prisons began to laughing. Except one, he was Pu Zhendong. Prison said to General Manger, sure, we are all at your service. General Manager said to Pu Zhendong, are you deaf? How dare you ignore me? Zhendong replied to him, what are you? General Manager said, what? Zhendong came in anger and lift a chair. He smashed the chair on the face of General Manager and said to him, you loser, you think you can bully me in prison. Policeman from outside the jail ordered them to be quiet and said to Zhendong, come out. He came out from the jail. Policeman said to him, congratulations, Mr. Fu your bailer is here. The bailer of Zhendong was Lei Qiandao. He said to Zhendong, I pulled a lot of strings just to get you out. Zhendong asked to him, you left seclusion. I thought it would be Lei Bao who came to pick me up. Lei Qiandao replied to him, Bao is paralyzed and who died of a heavy wound in the prison hospital. I am the only one who still can come, Zhendong was surprised and said, what? Lei who is dead, Lei Qiandao, picked his sword and said, I broke through during this seclusion zon. You killed my brother, I will kill, you, I swear, Zhendong replied to him, sure, you and me will kill zon first. And then dominate ocean, east, Qiandao said to Zhendong, let's go, I have a seclusion party. They sat in the car and moved, toward the Tito restaurant, police woman along with Zan and servant of Zan, whose name is Tank was, also there, she looked at the car and said to Zan, that is Lei Qiandong car, he is having a party here at, noon, Zan said, Tito restaurant again, I am so sick of this place, I do not want this building to stand, tomorrow, police woman bowed down in the front Zan and said to him, yes sir, I understood, Zan, said to Tank, let's go in, Tank replied to him, ha ha, we are gonna have a real fight. Lei Qiandao and Zhendong moved out of the car and moved toward Tito restaurant. Zan said to Tank, that is the scumbag who abandoned my aunt. The guard was saying to Qiandao, this way, please, Zan said to his servant, interesting, maybe we can stay longer to see who else we go in, on the other hand in the Tito restaurant Lei Quandao was picking the glass in his hand and he was saying to all people who were attending the party that, I am really flattered to have you all here to celebrate the end of seclusion. Then an old man moved and said to Lei Qiandao, Mr. Lei, I can sense your energy from this. Yes we all, have to count on you in the future. Qiandao said to all of them, let's work together and prosper ocean. East, on the other hand Mr. Lu was thinking that, Lei Bao kidnapped my daughter. How dare Lei, Qiandao invite me, Qiandao moved toward Lu and said to him, I would love to buy into Dragon. Estates what do you think of us making peace? Then people in the party said to Lu, it's a precious opportunity, Mr. Lu your group will take off. Mr. Lu replied to him, I will forget about our past. But you, are a fighter while I am a businessman. I do not think it is a good idea if we two work together. I will take. Me leave if there is nothing else you want to say, Lei Qiandao began to thinking that, I know he is trying to get something from me, then Pu Zhendong also arrived there and said to Lu, it has been so many years, but you have not changed, Lu, you are still this hot tempered, Lu was very surprised to watching, Zhendong at the restaurant and said to Zhendong, are not you in prison, what are you doing here, Zhendong replied to him, is there anything in the ocean east that Lei cannot handle, Qiandao said to Lu, you would better give me what I want, yield or die, he smashed Lu, Lu fall down, his daughter began, to saying, father, he came near to his father and said to Qiandao, do not touch my father, Lu said to Qiandao, I do not own the most shares of dragon estates, I am afraid you are looking for the wrong person, Lei Qiandao replied to him, however it is just keeping the share for me, you have a pretty daughter. I will spare your family if she spends several nights with me. Lui daughter replied to Qiandao. It is your dream, Lei Qiandao suddenly came in anger and said, how naive. I guess it is time to show you, what inner power fighter is capable of. He smashed the people that were standing around him. Lei Qiandao further said, a brilliant inner power fighter knows how to display his inner power correctly. Lui 
said to his daughter, that must be what made the entire Ocean East people envy. Then daughter replied, to her father, it is hard to imagine a human being can do it. Then Mr. Chen arrived there. He said to Lei, Qian Dao, bravo, you are almost as powerful as my father in terms of martial art, a man was standing. Behind the Chen said to Lei that, Mr. Chen has brought you 200-year-old wild ginsengs to celebrate your accomplishment. Lei Qian Dao replied to Mr. Chen, thank you, Mr. Chen, you flattered me by comparing me with your father, Chen Badao. Mr. Chen said to Qian Dao, I am little late and seem to have missed a lot here. Who is this pretty lady? Lei Qian Dao replied to him, you have brought me such precious gifts and I am sorry I have nothing particular to entertain you. How do you like this girl? I can give her to you. Mr. Chen replied to him, you are not joking with me, are you, Mr. Lei, I am not the kind of person who takes away the things others like, Lu said to Qian Dao, you will have to kill me. Before you take my daughter, Qing Qing, away. Mr. Chen made a punch and said to Lui, that is bold of you. I will fulfill your wish and kill you then. Mr. Chen wanted to punch Lui. Then Zan arrived there and stopped his punch with his finger. Mr. Chen was very surprised to see that and he said, what? Qing Qing was very happy to see there and said to him, I am glad you made it. Please help my dad. Zan replied to her, he is a human, not merchandise. How could you regard life like that? Does life mean nothing to you? Mr. Chen said to Zan, there are two kinds of people in this world, I, Chen. Heshan, belong to the noble kind, allowed to kill the rest lowly people. So what if I kill them? Zan replied to him, you think you are from the noble family? Well, I supposed you have no idea who I am. Chen pointed toward him and said to him, I do not care who you are. You just need to know that my mother is Shangguan Nalan, the most influential person in the Ocean East. My mom has given me the entire Tito restaurant as my birthday gift. Who are you to speak before me? Then security guards began to laughing by hearing that statement of Mr. Chen. Zhendong said to Zan, we have given you a chance to stay out of this, but you had to middle with our business. Nevertheless Mr. Lei is here, let's what you will do, Mr. Chen said, what, you are Zan, Lei Qiandao put his hand on the shoulder of Chen and said to him, do not worry, son I am here. He would not do anything to you, Chen replied to him. Thank you Mr. Lei, Chen said to Zan, you would be better kneel and beg for forgiveness. I may consider speaking up for you and sparing your life. Zan replied to him, I am afraid the building cannot bear it if I do kneel. It will collapse and be ruined, Mr. Chen came in anger and said to Zan, that is, hilarious. This Tito restaurant of our Chen family has existed in Ocean East for a dozen years. It will never collapse, even if you die. Zan replied to him, let's find out. There was ring on the mobile of Zan, and took out the mobile and picked up the phone. He said on the phone that, sir, I am finished with all. The formalities and everyone in the neighborhood is under evacuation. Mr. Chen was very surprised by hearing that and said to Zan, what? What are you talking about? How dare you seek help from others? Lei Qiandao said to Chen, do not worry, son. He will know how powerful we are. When his reinforcements are here and knell before us, Chen became happy and said, yes, it will be funnier to see him in panic and beg for mercy. Chen pointed the finger toward Zan but said to Lei, you do know how to make things fun, Mr. Lei. I will give this son of a bitch a chance then, Zan hold his hand and said to him, how dare you point your finger at me, if you think you have a backup, you are woefully wrong. Then Zan released the hand of Chen and said to him, neither can Lei Qiandao nor this building will save your ass, Chen fall down, Zhendong came in anger by watching Chen falling down, Mr. Chen, Lei, Qiandao and also moved forward to attack on Zan with his sword and said to Zan, you have got some nerve to hurt my man. Then Mr. Tank the servant of Zan moved forward and said to Lei, how dare you. He controlled the attack of Lei with his hand and Lei was surprised by watching the power of Tank. Lei said, Tank is so strong, Lei Qiandao began to thinking that, I did not accept Zan's subordinate to be such a great inner power fighter. He is almost as good as me, Tank said to Lei, do not get me wrong. 
But my boss wants to know something from you. That is why I did not kill you right away, Lei Qiandao. Replied to him, you are such an impressive fighter. Why did you work for someone low as Zan? What benefits could he bring you? If we work together, we will rule the entire ocean east. Even Chen Tianba will yield to us. Tank spitted on the Lei Qiandao. Lei came in anger and said to Tank, how dare you? Well, you have got a master of inner power with you. That is impressive. I will surrender. Let's just move on. What do you think? Zan said to Lei and Zhendong, those who deem themselves noble people are all bundles who despise rules. When you guys discover you are at a disadvantage, you will show your true face and become cowards. Chen said to Lei, why would you surrender to a lowlife like him? He dared to hurt me. Please seek revenge for me, Lei said to Zan, what makes you think you can win me? I excel a swordsmanship, I have every chance of winning you. Mr. Louis stood up and said to Zan, please do not be impulsive, and be careful. I would not dying myself, but Qingqing Qing is still young, Zan. Replied to Lu, do not worry. They are nothing but a bunch of animals waiting to be slaughtered, Lei said. To Zan, I will just get past that powerful man and target Zan. Things will be easier, Zan replied to him, tell me, how do you want to do this? To make it easier for you, I would not let Tank help me, Lei. Qiandao came in anger and he moved forward for attack on Zan with his sword. And he said to Zan, how dare you insult me like that? I will make you kneel before me and beg for death. Zan said to Lei, really, you seem to be ignorant of what you are facing. Zan moved forward to fight with Lei. And... Ground was broken with his inner power. Lei said to him, you can break the ground just by using your inner power. You must be a grandmaster, still you will not defeat me haha. There was bleeding from the arm of Lei. Zan said to Lei, you said you wanted me to kneel before you, did not you? Lei Qiandao said to Zan, how could it be? Please, please spare my life. Zan replied to him, okay. Zan kicked Lei and he fall down. Zan said to Zhendong, it is the time to handle you guys, Zhendong began to. Thinking that, he is like a decide. Why did I get out of jail? I should not have come out of jail, Mr. Tank. Punched Zhendong and said to him, I have been meaning to fight you a long time ago. Do not try to. Run, Mr. Chen said to Zan, I am sorry please forgive me. Zan replied to him, kneel in the front of. Me. It is not the worst moment yet. Chen kneeled down in the front of Zan and said to him, what? What do you mean? Then there was arrival of helicopter. People began to saying, look, here comes. The helicopter, army began to moving out from copter with the help of rope. People began to saying, that, what are they doing? They do not seem to be here to rescue people. Mr. Chen was also very, surprised by watching that moment. He said to Zan, what are you? How dare you, do you know? What will happen to you if you do this? Zan replied to Chen, there is no residential area around the Tito restaurant, and I have already evacuated those who were around. What other consequence will there be? I did not want to do this in the first place. It will cause a bit sensation after all, however, you remaindered me one of the thing, it will be funnier if I destroy the one thing you are most proud of in front of your face. Then Chen hold the legs of Zan and said to him, no please do not. This restaurant, is what will make me the family head in the future. Please do not take it away from me, on the other. Hand everything was ready to destroy Tito restaurant. Police woman said to Zan, sir, everything is. Ready, Chen called to his mother Shangguan Nalan and said to her, mom, someone is here to demolish. My hotel and kill me, you have got to save me. Shangguan replied to her son, I see. Do not be afraid, let me speak to him. Chen gave the mobile to Zan. Zan said to Shibguan Nalan, long time no see. You, Shangguan Nalan said to Zan, I am interested in knowing who you are or where my son is. Just, let him go, I will give whatever you want. Zan replied to her, okay. I want you to jump off a building. And die for him, does that sound fair to you? Shangguan Nalan came in anger and said to Zan, you, or Zan, or not you, your mother is the bitch who committed suicide by jumping off a building. Zan, replied to her, I think you have made your choice now. Get ready to collect your son body, Shangguan. Nalan said to Zan, wait, Zan, it is not worth it to do this for a dead person. You are still young, and I, will go view, money, 
Just let my son go, Zan replied to her, money. Do you think your money can make this go away? I am afraid you cannot. You will suffer endless pain for the rest of your life. Changguan Nalan came in anger and threw her mobile away, and began to saying that, Zan, you will regret it. Zan said to Chen, I am sorry your mother did not do as I said. Chen said to Zan, no, please. Do not, I can call my father. He is also a martial artist. Zan punched on the face of Chen and said to him, you have done a lot in this life. You should feel content now. I hope you can be a good guy in your next life. The Tito restaurant was completely demolished by Zan and police woman. Lei Qiandao watched toward restaurant and said, what? How could it be? I was about to be one of the most powerful people in the ocean east lay kneeled down in the front of Zan and asked to him, can you tell me why you have to kill me before doing it? Zan replied to him, do you remember a woman jumped off a building 10 years ago? Lei Qiandao looked at the police woman her name was Sha. He was very shocked. He said to Zan Yu, Sha Chun Yu son, and, and you are the little boy I saw crouching in your mother bosom, that night when I was on my mission 10 years ago. I never thought that Sha Chun Yu son, could be so strong one day. They were all wrong about you. Ha ha. Zan said to Lei Qiandao, since you, admit what you did, you can die with the a peaceful mind now. Lei said to Zan, I want to know what, current position is, Zan replied to him, I am Lord Zan. The king of war, Lei replied to him, what an honor. Zan beat Lei and there was bleeding from the mouth of him. Lei fall down in the front of Zan and died at the same moment. Ching Ching said, Lei was a powerful man, but he looked so small and weak. In the front of big brother. Mr. Tank also said, damn, our boss is really mad. We would have been in trouble if I had not taken you guys away earlier. Mr. Louis also began to say that, brother Zan is so. Impressive. I wonder what he said to Lei Qiandao that made the latter accept his death willingly. Tank said to Louis, How funny you two address my boss with two different terms. Louis replied to Tank, Well, it's a bit complicated. Zan crossed the name of Lei Qiandao from his notebook and said, I hope my next target will show up in the contest for market share. Police woman came near to Zan and said to him, Sir, did you get anything new now? Zan replied to her, No. She also began beating the lay and said, We should have tortured him to death. This is too easy for him. Zan said to police woman, I will find out what happened, no matter what. I do not have to heed it from him. Police woman replied to him, Okay, I will follow you wherever you go. Zan put his hand on the hand of police woman and said to her, No, I will attend the contest for market share in the ocean east, while you will stay here and take care of the rest. Tank aid to Zan. Her could you let her to do it, boss? Why do not you leave the brain work? Like taking care of the rest to me? Zan replied to him, be serious, since when you handle brain work? Police woman began laughing and said, what an idiot. Fine you can take care of the rest this time. What, do you think? Ching Ching began to thinking that, who is this woman? Why is she so close to Zan? Louis, also thought that, my silly girl will never be a rival for that woman, I will have to help. Lu asked to Zan, did you say you would attend the contest for market share in three days? Zan replied to him, yes, I will represent the Wen family. Louis replied to him, Wen Qingxian is so lucky to have you. I will send martial artist too, and Qingxian will be the lead. Zan asked to Lei, are you saying the arena for the contest for market share is far away from here? Louis replied to him, yes, to make it fair to everyone. The Contest for market share is always held in cities outside Ocean East. Zan said to police woman, this time the contest will be on the cruise on the ocean. She said to Zan, on the cruise, please take me with you, boss I want to fight there too. Ching Ching hold the hand of Zan and said to police woman, did you know how to get there? I will lead the road and that is all he needs. I promise to take Zan there safely. Police woman said to Ching Ching, who knows where you will take him to. Ching Ching replied to her, that is none of your business. Both of they said to Zan, boss, you decide who you will take. Zan came in anger and released his arms from both of them and said, it suddenly occurred to me that my aunt will take Guang and fly to Arantra for medical treatment today. Tank said to Zan, please wait for me boss, I will take you to the airport. Police woman said, stop it, boss, 
You are so cunning, Ching Qin, also, said, please wait Zan, on the other hand Chen Badao and Chen Tianwei were standing therein. Workers were picking up the trash of destructive Tito restaurant. There was also rain, almost all people, were holding umbrellas in their hand. Shanungguan Nalan also came there by car, and said to her, Husband, I thought you would never come back, Chen Badao, Chen Badao replied to her, Cian East is undergoing a big change now, I have to come back, Shangguan Nalan replied to him, ever since that, bastard Zan emerged, he ruined several prominent families and made a lot of trouble in Ocean East, Chen Badao replied to her, that is good to hear, the contest for market share is coming up, I should, thank him for presenting such a great opportunity for me to unify the Ocean East, Shangguan Nalan, replied to her husband, your sons are either dead or disabled. How could you still think of your career? Chen Badao turned around and replied to his wife, Did I force Sha Chun Yu to die? Shanungguan Nalan, came in anger. Chen Tianwei said to his mother, Please do not be angry, mother. I will seek revenge for my brothers. Then Pu Zhendong arrived there. Chen Badao asked, Who is there? Zhendong came in, the front of Badao and said to him, It is me. Chen Badao asked to him, Well, well. Is not that the president of Dragon Estates? What are you doing here, Mr. Fu? Zhendong said to Badao, Please help me, Mr. Badao. That beast Zan tortured me constantly and asked me to spread the word that he accepted to see the Chen family in the contest for market share. Mr. Chen put his hand on the shoulder of Zhendong and said to him, Do not worry. I will go to the contest. Now, how much did you hear about our previous conservation? Zhendong replied to Badao, please do not worry, I would not tell anyone about your plan. From now on, I will be your man and do everything to help you unify Ocean East. Chen, Badao said to him, good, Badao came in anger and smashed on the head of Zhendong. He fall down, and Chen said to him, what makes you think you can be my man? Chen Tianwei also said to Zhendong, my father will be a king of Ocean East, you do not deserve to be his man. On the other hand Tank Nad, Zan were enjoying on the golden beach. Tank was saying that, wow, is this the famous, golden beach, in the all of Ocean East. The scenery is breathtaking, I wonder why Lu Qingqing has not arrived. Yet, Zan said to him, some people have wandering eyes. Do not use the excuse of looking for Lu Qingqing to peek around. Tank said to Zan, ha ha, boss, what are you wearing? When you come to the beach, you should be in swimwear. Zan punched him and said to him, you picked out my outfit. Remember, then police woman came here she said to Zan, boss, when it comes to taking care of folks, I am the pro, how about I take care of you full time in the future. Then there were also some other guys on the beach. A guy said to other, look at the hottie, should we go and chat with her? A guy behind him replied to him, you sly dog, there is an event held in East Sea lately. All the big shots are coming to Golden Beach, be careful, he replied to him, do not sweat it, I have got backup, and I have got experience, I would not make a move without gathering some into first, just watch, he came near to, police woman and said to her, hey, beautiful you here alone, she came near to Zan and replied to, that guy, we are obviously a couple, guy said, oh, my bad, bro I have got a party going on, want to join, us, he also began thinking that, who is this country bumpkin still dressed up to Golden Beach? Zan, replied to Guy, nah, we have got other plans. Police woman also said, why not? Zan again said, nah, we are, waiting for someone here. Zan was thinking that, she is up to her usual mischief, Guy also was. Also thinking that, she wants to come. But her boyfriend seems pretty cautious. I might need to work, harder. Guy again said to Zan, did you guys hear? There is a sea banquet happening in Ocean East. Recently, Zan said to Guy, Oh, we heard about it, but we are clueless about getting in. Guy replied to Zan, Hee hee, I knew a big shot who can get you in. If you are keen, I can introduce you. Police woman, said to Guy, Seriously. Guy said to her, My big shot friend is not joke. If you can with him over. Lu, Ching Ching also came there by yacht. He called Zan, Zan over here. Guy was very shocked and was thinking that, geez, so this guy is a kept man, Zan walks away. Guy from the back came near to the 
Guy that was talking to Zan and said to him, Oops, you messed it up. She is gone to the yacht and does not need your company. Guy spit on him. He came in anger and said to him, That dude is thin as a rail. No comparison to Tianlong. Tianlong was also there. He said to the guys, What were you guys? Whispering about behind my back. Guy turned around and said, Oh, Tianlong, you are here. You just missed a hottie. Tianlong came in anger that he missed the opportunity to see that hottie. Zan looked at Tianlong and said, In this contest for market share the Yu family sent you Tianlong. It is interesting. Tianlong also looked at Zan and think, That guy looks so familiar, but I cannot quite see, Tianlong said. To the guys, pack up. We are getting ready to head to the open sea, guys said, sure, in the cruise. Diamond there was huge party. A guy was pouncing on the food and was saying that, the food here is amazing. A girl came near to him and said to him, sir, please eat slowly. You make choke. She was thinking that, this guy eats like he has not had a meal in three days. Could he be an infiltrator? Police. Woman looked at the guy who was on the beach and thought, this glutton only thinks about food. He forgets all about the mission boss assigned. For delicate investigation like this, I am the guy, Mr. Wen. Was also there, Lu Yishui, a tycoon in Ocean East, accompanied by fighter Crutches Lee, skilled with twin crutches. He does not fit the profile. Police woman was also thinking that, where is that fighter with excellent lightness skill? Guy came near to police woman and said to him, hey, it is fate. Is not it? Where is your boyfriend? She slapped on the face of him. He was remain happy and said to her, Sweetie, your boyfriend not here anyway. It is no so fun alone. Come have some fun with me. She was on the mission and she sent message to the Zan. The mission has been successfully completed. And I found the prison you asked me to find. Zan replied to her, Yes, I see. She said to Zan, Boss, I can take him out anytime now, should I? Zan replied to her, no rush, come back for now. Let wait until, after we have represented the Wen family in the contest for market share before we make a move. Police woman replied to him, you really are gentle, boss, guy said to police woman, I, break up with him, you can be mine from now on. She punched him and said to him, how dare you. Zan also said, gentle, I am just not in a hurry for now, because sooner or later, he would not escape no matter where he goes. Keep lurking do not get caught, on the other hand guy was saying that, that darn woman, how dare she kick me, I will make her regret it for sure, Zan slapped on the face of guy, guy, said to Zan, it's you, guy was thinking that, he is on board too, turns out he is a rich kid, no wonder, that woman did not look at me twice, but now that I have run into him, watch now I take care of him, Zan said to guy, and you are, guy said to him, just call me Lu. What are you doing in this remote place? Got lost. Follow me. I will take you to the banquet hall. There are seven floors on this cruise, with five large banquet halls. It is not easy to find your way alone. Zan said to Lu, lead the way then. Lu was thinking that, acting all high and mighty with me, I will make you cry. Outside the banquet hall, man, said to Zan, invitation please. Sorry, this is a boarding pass. You will need an invitation to enter the party, Zan said to him, an invitation. Lu said to man, did you know who is this? Get the host of the party out here to greet him immediately. Man said to Zan, you bustard coming here to cause trouble. Keep an eye on them. I will go get some help, Lu said to Zan, everyone inside the banquet is from the top echelons. Do you know what will happen if you disrupt their event? Zan said, oh, Lu said to Zan. Are you here to cause trouble? This is all up to me. If you kneel down and beg, I might spare you. This time, Zan said to Lu, do we have some kind of grudge? Guys that was today video if you enjoy, then please like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of you. God bye.